soak up the sun and the fun. NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. Catch it this January 17 to 21 to 30 p.m. on GTV. Sa mga pandaigdigang isyong nakakaapekto sa bansa. Mula rito sa Beijing, China. Nasa sentro ang GMA Integrated News. At isa na namang mahalagang pagtitipon ng World Economic Forum sa Davos, Switzerland. Di pa rin tayo pahuhuli. Abangan ang mga pinakamainit na balita at live updates sa TV, online at radyo. Mula sa GMA Integrated News, ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ang pinakamalaki, pinakapremyado at pinakapinagkakatiwalaan sa larangan ng pagbabalita. Mas pinalakas pa sa pagsasanib puwersa ng GMA News, GMA Regional TV, GMA News Online at DCWB. Tulad ng sitwasyon natin sa China, may overlap. Narito po kami ng aking team. Halos bewang na yung bahagi. Ito yung bahagi ng pader na bumigay. Nangunguna sa pagbabalita. Halos 44,000 na sako ng asukal. Maasa. Saan man, kailanman. Tatlo hanggang apat na PDL ang namamatay. Buong busong naglilingkod sa Pilipinas. GMA Integrated News. Ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang inyong GMA Integrated News. They're back to rule the court. Get ready to get served. It's going to be an intense season. NCAA Season 98 Women's Volleyball coming this February. Sabi nila, mas masaya pag may kasama. Highly successful. Widely engaging. Love it, Perfectly beautiful. Experience the best with Synergy, producer of remarkably acclaimed multimedia events and sports entertainment. Delivering powerful performances, non-stop energy, and impeccable stage spectacles. Absolutely must-watch masterpieces from versatile artists. In this 2023, be part of more world-class experiential initiatives. Only from your Synergy. Ang mahalagang panlokal na balita makararating sa inyo sa pangunguna ng GMA Regional TV sa Luzon. One North Central Luzon. Balitang Southern Tagalog. Balitang Bicolandia sa Visayas. Balitang Bisda. One Western Visayas. At sa Mindanao. One Mindanao. Weekdays 5 p.m. on GMA Regional TV Channels. This 2023, watch these athletes bring pride and honor to their schools. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Mapa offensa, mapa defensa, and she goes dashing and smashing on that play. Kailangan din ang championship experience. And with bigger halftime performances. We are the number one team right now. This is what greatness is all about. Take a look at that again. Down the line finish. This is your NCAA Season 98 on GTV. Ang mga maiinit na usapin tungkol sa climate change. Tatalakayin ang mga batikang mamamahayag ng GMA Integrated News. Joseph Moro. June Veneracion, Sandra Aguinaldo, Ian Cruz, Chino Gaston, Oscar Oida, Rafi Tima, Mark Salazar, Emil Sumangil, Marie Sumali, Maki Pulido, at Cedric Castillo. Ang banta ng nagbabagong klima, abangan sa 24 oras mula sa News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang GMA Integrated News. 
keep up with non-stop in-court action with GMA Sports. Catch the latest sports news here and round the globe. Be thrilled with conversations about the finest athletes and sports personalities. This is it, yes! And Mamuski with a one-two is now down to just six. And never miss a beat on the latest hardcore drama. We'll bring you stories behind each point and victory, one play at a time. Follow our official social media handles for your daily fix of hype and adrenaline. Online, GMA Sports. How's the first day back for everybody? It was great to see everyone. I think we were all happy to be back together. Never get lost because we have our parents. Kumusta, Alexandra? Come with me for a tour of the world's biggest IKEA store. Being a PWD kasi in the Philippines is quite difficult. Ah, yun yung engineer nyo. Babae pala. Bakit nga ba tila na bura sa kasaysay ang sistema ng pagsusulat na ito? Always stay updated with the latest news in the country and around the world through GMA News and Public Affairs Facebook and YouTube news feeds anytime, anywhere. Dahil wagi ang mayalam. Life hasn't been easy lately, so we're here to make your day. Featuring amazing, funny, and heartwarming stories to bring you something bright and sweet and get you dancing through tough times. Simple joys that remind us of the many reasons we can still smile. Cleanse your timeline with Make Your Day. Join us on YouTube and Facebook and share your stories too. Let's spread more awesome, wholesome content out there. Make Your Day! Mabilis magbago ang mundo at ang daming naiisip ng tao. Hatid ng Next Now ang latest sa science and technology. Maging updated sa groundbreaking inventions. Hello there at mga makabagong solusyon sa pang-araw-araw nating pamumuhay. Actually creates a huge impact. Tunghaya ng episodes online dahil sa GMA News and Public Affairs Digital, we show you what's next now. Are COVID-19 vaccines safe? What is climate change? Because information is crucial, we're giving you all the facts that you need. Anong mga lugar sa Pilipinas ang COVID-free? Introducing me to me, a weekly explainer series from Jimmy News and Public Affairs. Here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know. Watch Need to Know. Available on Jimmy News Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Looking for news and latest information? Yung pala almost more than a minute na pala o hindi humihingi ka. Watch JMA News in Public Affairs, stand for truth. The Digital Newscast, where you can find the biggest stories of the week. Bright lights of the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan City. We are now here at the even brighter but natural lights of the Sand Court at Subic Bay Freeport Zone, our official venue for NCAA Season 98 Achieve Greatness Every Day. This is the Beach Volleyball Tournament and it is day number one, the first of five straight days that we will be here to present to you all the action and fun on the sand. Our first offering, of course, in today's matchup, which will be featured on GTV, we have the Letran Lady Knights as they take on the Perpetual Lady Altas. At mamaya, mga kapuso, mapapanood din po natin ang JRU Lady Bombers who will be taking on the Mapua University Lady Cardinals. And of course, Arellano, the Lady Chiefs will be action as well as they take on the EAC 
Lady Generals. Happy New Year at mabuhay, Pilipinas! Lahat ng mga nanunood ngayon sa pamamagitan ng GTV and via live streaming as well. I am Anton Roja standing alongside an NCAA volleyball legend, former Rookie of the Year, former San Beda re, re, Red Lady Spiker. Tama ba? Kasi Lady naisip Red ko yung, yung Lady Red uh, Lioness dati, uh, di ba? So, Lady, Lady Red, Red Spiker. Spikers, yes. Cheska Rakrakin, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Happy New Year, everybody. We're very excited for today's game this afternoon. It's very hot, <laughs> pero mas mainit ang labanan. <laughs> Napakainit na nga ng ating naging labanan nung umaga because we already had six matches before the opening ceremony, yes. Cheska, which we just witnessed. Pero eto nga, magpapatuloy ang mga laban as we move on to the afternoon. Yes, that's right. And these two teams just won their games uh -huh. earlier this day. So 1-0 one and one -oh sila pareho. So ayan, a konting preview mula kay Cheska Raklapin. Yes. Pero Cheska, binanggit ko nga kanina, the opening ceremony, it just happened moments ago. So we will give you guys a glimpse of what happened. Ito na nga, mga kuponan na nandito for the next five days at the sand court sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. All 10 teams of the NCAA participating in this year's Beach Volleyball Tournament. We will be featuring the women's matches. Pero kung gusto nyo manood ng live, we also have the men's matches taking place simultaneously in court number two. Any memories coming back to you, Cheska, while <laughs> seeing visions of these teams? Well, I have memories of watching. I'm not very fond of the the ones me playing, actually. Pero nag beach volleyball ka rin before, di ba? I mean, you have a little experience. Experience, mm -hmm. yes. And, well, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mas gusto ko marami akong kakampi. Yeah, I can't. Mahirap masyado, guys. Alam nyo, etong mga girls dito today and in this tournament i'm very impressed with all of them it's not very easy to play beach volleyball mm -hmm. talagang as in ultimo tatakbo ka lang sa sand eh mahirap na so hindi lang kalaban yung kalaban mo kalaban mo rin yung mga elemento <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yung araw yung hangin everything um, contributes to how the game goes actually Merong times na yung hangin, tunutulungan ka eh sa service mo. And sometimes yung sun, nasa mukha mo na. It, there's just a lot of factors um, to take into with beach volleyball talaga. And that's what we're going to be explaining as we move along sa ating yes. coverage. Nakita natin yung mga distinguished members ng management committee. Our first vice president for GMA Network and head of GMA Regional TV, GMA Synergy and GMA News, Sir Oliver Victor B. Amoroso is here with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you as well to Attorney John Aquino for giving us his inspirational message para sa lahat ng ating mga manalaro who are just so excited to be here. Pati yung XOXO <laughs> nakita natin. Nakijamming na rin yung mga yeah. players sa kanila. You know, it's very fun to see the players being so active and fun. Uh, having fun. Kahit na napakainit, they love it. And of course, Cheska, ito ang ating tournament format. A little bit similar, mm -hmm. pero the main difference here is the finals is a knockout match. Yes. I mean, similar as compared to indoor. Ha? Yes, it's a bloodbath, everybody. <laughs> um, isang game lang ang paglalabanan nila. If you lose, you lose. That's it. Wala ka ng choice. Wala... Next year na ulit. Ganon. Nakakatakot yung pag-describe mo. Ha? Hindi yes. ko masyadong feel yun. <laughs> Pero what Cheska means is it's very important to try to win every game. Mm -hmm. And there have been games already. As we mentioned kanina, six matches. Ito ang standing so far. LPU at the bottom, 0 and 2. But the two teams na papanoorin natin ngayon who are warming up at the Sandcourt, Letran and Perpetual, gaya ang sinabi ni Cheska, they're raring to go, both 1 and 0 oh, ang karilang mga kartada. Mm -hmm. That is right. And it's pa yan sa mga impressive things about these girls and these players that are playing. No? Hindi lang yung isang game ang nilalaro nila sa isang araw. Sometimes two, three matches pa yan, but they do it. They get it done. Somebody's got to do it. And uh, of course, uh, they're playing for their respective schools. At yung kanilang mga minamahal sa buhay, Chaco and Lara May Silva. They are the two players who will be representing Colegio de San Juan de Letran. And to tell us more about the Lady Knights, let's go right now on the sand to Anne Gabriel. Anton and Cheska, mainit nga ang hapon natin ngayon dito sa Subic. Pero mukhang mas mainit pa rin ang excitement na nararamdaman ng ating Letran Lady Knights as they are about to face. The Perpetual Lady Altas, lalo na kakagaling lang nila sa kanilang panalo versus the Mapua Lady Cardinals kanina. Pero pag-usapan muna natin ang naging best player of the game na si Lara May Silva. Alam nyo ba, 
first timer siya pagdating sa beach volleyball. Kaya naman na kwento niya sa atin how excited she was for this tournament. Pero syempre, another thing that really excites her daw ay ang original position niya kasi when it comes to indoor volleyball ay libero. Kaya naman very thrilled daw siya na for this beach volleyball tournament, siya naman daw ang papalo. And I'm sure tayo rin natutuwang makitang mag-spike naman ang libero ng letran na si Lara May. Kaya naman, best of luck sa ating letran. Lady Knights, yan muna for now. Balik sa inyo. Libero na naka-8 points. Grabe. Yeah, I, I, I think she's born to play beach volleyball. And, and it's like that for some players, diba? There are players na, you know, they have a different role yeah. indoors, pero pagdating dito sa buhangin, iba yung kanilang pinapakita. Absolutely. Iba rin kasi yung indoor volleyball, you know, you have six players, and if we're going to compare sa height niya, mm -hmm. there are a lot of big blockers there, pero here sa beach volleyball, alam mo, she has free reign to do whatever she wants. And speaking of free reign, that is what Perpetual looks to experience dito sa kanilang first TV game for the year 2023. This is the tandem of Mary Rose Dapol and Janine Padua. These players very familiar. Ito yung mga na-cover natin, Cheska, sa indoor. Ngayon, <laughs> nandito sila sa buhangin. Yes, sila yung mga impressive open speakers na talagang inaabang natin. Explosive ang mga pala. And I believe here sa Beach Volleyball, explosive pa din sila. Um, I believe dito nila nakukuha yung talon nila eh pagdating sa indoor volleyball because guys, nakakatulong po ang paglalaro sa buhangin sa indoor. Pagka laglaro kayo sa indoor, it's, you're suddenly very fast. You can suddenly jump really high or higher. Impressive. And let's get more right now from the side of Perpetual. Puntahan natin si Christine San Agustin. Anton and Cheska, during their first game against ESB, aminado ang Perpetual Lady Atas na may halong kaba ang bawat isa sa kanila. Pero hindi nila ito hinayaang makaapekto sa kanilang performance and that's how they had their first win. Eh, hindi pa rin naman daw nagbabago ang kanilang nararamdaman. Lalo pat napanood nilang maglaro ang letran kanina. Pero ayon sa tandem na Daps at Ja ay hindi sila naniniwalang kaya nilang tapatan ang kalaban dahil para sa kanila ay kaya pa nila itong higitan. Yan muna sa ngayon, balik sa inyo. I like that. It has yeah. a ring to it, no? Tandem ni Daps at Ja. At ni Ja. <laughs> si Daps ano in a cup. Ano, ano ba yung tandem nyo ng kapatid mo? Oh my gosh. Tawag lang sa amin na Rakrakin Sisters. Oh, Rakrakin <laughs> <laughs> It's a family affair daw eh, sa Beda. It's yeah, like, di ba? Rakrakin Sisters, Berai Twins. Rakrakin sisters, Berai twins yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a family affair. <laughs> Until now, meron din tayo, Tayag Sisters. Oh, that's right. That's right. And si Maxine was the one who gave our yes. oath of sportsmanship just moments ago. All yes. right, Jessica, any last words bago natin turn over kay Noel? Guys, let's do this. Kaya natin tong panoorin. It's going to be a hot game. Let's enjoy. Sit back where you are and enjoy the game. What she said, guys. Let's turn it over to our Coliseum announcer. Magandang hapon, mga kapuso, mula sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Inahandog po namin sa inyo ang NCAA Season 98 Achieve Greatness Everyday Beach Volleyball Competition na inyong mapapanood ng live sa GTV at may live streaming pa sa lahat ng social media pages ng NCAA Philippines at GMA Sports PH. We welcome you to our afternoon session and now we introduce our officials for this match. Our first referee, Buds Kambay. Our second referee, Choi Bukid. And this is the matchup between the Colegio de San Juan de Letran and the University of Perpetual Help. Let's first meet the Lady Knights. Number one, Chamberlain Cunada. Number two, Lara Silva. And their opponents, the Lady Altas. Number one, Mary Rose Dapol. And number two, Janine Padua. Good luck to both teams. This is day number one, match number seven. 
in the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. Maraming salamat mga kapuso. Sa inyong panonood, Anton Rojas kasama si Cheska Rakrakin on the call for this matchup between two teams that are 1-0 and in the team standings. It's going to be double to start this game. And Dapol's got the shades on. As the this cap is, on. Yep. Really, uh, yeah, yan yung sinasabi natin kanina. You're not only fighting against your opponent, you're also fighting against the elements yes. as you yes. see Cunyata with a familiar that. spike. She's very, very prepared to face nature today. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, uh, nature. Because we're surrounded by nature and we're so thankful to SBMA for hosting us. Uh, it's going to be an exciting week. Sarap ng hangin dito eh. I mean, all the trees and of course, um, sabi nga ni attorney John Aquino kanina, this is slowly becoming the beach volleyball center mm -hmm. of the Philippines. Yes, and alam mo, isa na ko na-impress kanina when they were explaining it to me, yung sand, hindi na nila kailangan i-wash. Kasi there are times na pag sobrang tirik ng araw, mainit na din yung sand eh. Uh -huh. Mahirap ng laruan ng players kasi masakit na sa kanilang mga paa. Pero here, sabi nila, the sand is cool. And ano ah, hindi biro na you transfer, you know, the the sand. Yung totoong sand yeah. to a sand court here. It yes. costs a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money, of course. So this is a great experience, a great venue para sa lahat ng mga beach volleyball players natin as we see the first service ace of the match. Padua with that service ace. It was a sharp serve. And dito talaga nagiging mas importante double yung that value Cheska. That touches Jessica. the net. <laughs> the back to back service oh, aces oh, by Padua. Parang ano eh bonus points yung mga aces kasi di mo na kailangan gumalaw yes. ulit. You get the point right away. Exactly. Ooh. We could see Kunyada was on top of that ball. It did hit at the net a little bit but it was she was still on top of it. Score is 4-2 to two. at kung mapapansin niyo po mamaya after we get another point, these teams are going to switch sides which is one of the more glaring differences between <laughs> yeah. indoor and beach volleyball. That's every seven points. Eh, pero para sa iyo, Cheska, apart from like the rules and yun nga, playing against the elements aside from your opponent, for you personally, mm -hmm. ano pa ba yung mga ibang glaring differences between beach and Five indoor? Uh, what example would be, hindi mo pwedeng hawakan yung bola with your fingers. Like yung palm pala uh -huh. of your hand, yung palm of your fingers. Um, that's automatic point ng kalaban if you drop the ball na using your fingers. Which is hard, lalo na pag ikaw na sana sa indoor volleyball. One glaring difference. And isa pa, actually, malit, mas malit yung court, yes, pero walang crossing. Hindi ito natawagan ng crossing here. Kaya nakita natin doon na uh, Cheska sa replay, si Padua. Ano ba tong part ng kamay, Cheska? Yun yung ginamit niya para paluin yung bola eh. Yung Heel ila. of the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, help us. Eh? Tweet niyo kami ni Cheska <laughs> because sometimes we need some help with regards to some of the terms. Like, minsan, they use a closed fist. Minsan, they use like their knuckles. Yes, but that's the safest one, knuckles. Mm -mm. If you're gonna drop the ball pero di ka sure, just close it. Gayo knuckles. It's like, kokotong kami bola. Ito, Cheska, another replay. Uh, that's, um, I usually do that in, in Durden, eh. Mm. Um, that's called off-speed hit. So, babagalan mo lang yung palu dun sa bola. Um, para malagay mo siya sa pwesto kung saan mo gusto. Essentially, that's it. And we're going to see a lot of that yes. here in beach volleyball. Yes. Yung isa placing, yan, placing. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, isa pa yan, ginagamit talaga ng players here, kanilang utak. You know, hindi lahat palu lang ng palo. Sabi ko nga, um, in beach volleyball and indoor volleyball naman, ha, malakas na palo or drop ball, <laughs> Only one point. Wala naman pong two points eh. <laughs> what I want to see, but we're expecting to be rare as we see that smart, smart play, play right there. Good save by... Ooh. Cunyada finishing the rally. Three points already in the match para kay Chak yes, Cunyada. This girl is very athletic. We can see it naman na talaga ba nung indoor volleyball that she is a high jumper. Yung gusto ko sabihin kanina was I want to see a lot of uh, 
blocks. Mm, Kasi yes. bihira natin makita sa beach, di ba, na may yes. sumasabay. Although on the replay, we saw Dapol na sinabayan niya si mm -hmm. Cha. We want to see more of that. Uh, essentially, blocking is if, if either ma-block mo, that's a point. And if not, pinapalit mo yung window na kailangan dependa, depensahan ng kakampi mo eh. Wow, Chaco Nyada, you talked about explosiveness, Cheska. Yes, he's giving it. Sa sobrang lakas ng palo, gumulong over the net at tumalbog sa side ng Perpetual. May konting gigil yan, binaon niya eh. Pero lamang pa rin ang Perpetual, 8 to 6. This is a good start for the Daps and Ja tandem. Palo with the point. They're just playing smart beach volleyball right now. Itong Perpetual Altas, who, by the way, is the host school for mm -hmm. the tournament. You know, they're reserving their energy. Kasi, ito palang heat na to, makakaubus na ng energy. And if they can get the point with less, you know, power, less energy expended, the better. Alamo, Cheska, that's a great point. Dahil I just looked at the schedule at nakita ko may isa pang laro itong perpetual. It's gonna be the last match of the day against JRU. So if you guys are here in the area and you want to watch some beach volleyball action, just come down to the sand court at Subic Bay Freeport Zone. We're gonna be here all the way until Saturday. That was a great serve by Cunyada. You know, nag-alangan doon si Padua sa pag-receive niya doon eh. Uh, I think na medyo late niya na naisip na kunin na lang yung bola. <laughs> because she was thinking, oh, baka out. Pero she still reached for it. How do you improve on that aspect? Yung nagdadalawang isip ka sa loob ng volleyball court. Oh my court. gosh, ang ginagawa ko. <laughs> Every time na I'm not sure, I just get the ball. Uh huh. When when in doubt, just go for it. Yes, no? just go for it. Wala nang mawala. You get the, ooh, you get to try. You know, to make a point afterwards. Pero if you're not sure, tapos nag inside pala, di mo kinuwa. Automatic point. Okay nang kunin mo. If you're not sure. So that's, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, one perspective from Cheska Rakrakin. Kasi you, may mga Guys, iba rin. There's a different yeah, side. Yes. Wag lang yung sobrang obvious naman. <laughs> Pag sobrang obvious na outside, tapos kukunin mo pa. Iba na yun. That was a good placing by Dapol. I like the way she twisted her body to get yes. that spike, Cheska. She was targeting that. I believe she was already looking at that area before she even went to the approach. At yung maganda, she disguised the placement of that mm -hmm. shot with her body kasi yung body niya nakatutok dun sa kanto. Very versatile. Itong si Dapol. Another one. She loves that area. That's in for Dapol. Right down the middle para kay Mary Rose Dapol. So they are on top talking about the Lady Altas. Sila ay nangunguna kontra sa Letran. 13 to 8. The sun and the fun. NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. Catch it this January 17 to 21, 2.30 p.m. on GTV. Sa mga pandaigdigang isyong nakakaapekto sa bansa. Mula rito sa Beijing, China. Nasa sentro ang GMA Integrated News. At isa na namang mahalagang pagtitipon ng World Economic Forum sa Davos, Switzerland. Di pa rin tayo pahuhuli. Abangan ang mga pinakamainit na balita. We are out here in a different bay. This is Subic Bay. What a beautiful site. Beautiful venue. And once again, thank you to SBMA for being our host and for making sure this venue is well taken care of. The center of beach volleyball in the Philippines. Yan ang sabi ni attorney John Aquino, the deputy administrator of business groups sa SBMA. So you've been watching a lot of the matches, Cheska. Mm -hmm. Early on, meron ka na bang nakikitang parang uh, llamado na kupunan favorite? Well, <laughs> well, ayaw ko na mag-sound as bayan. <laughs> Pero of course, I'm rooting for us and Beda. Um, alumni ako, of course, di ba? But I can see na it's gonna be hard for them. 
uh -huh. um, there are a lot of contenders here as you can see itong pinapanood natin game and kinukover natin game today these girls great contenders and yung isa pa yung Benilde um, we all know that sila yung um, defending champions sa indoor volleyball pero you can see yung rookies nila kanina they won their match as well uh, very promising all the teams are and I right now I don't have any clear view of who will win so parang basketball season din pala to. Walang uh, clear-cut favorite as we see this hit by Chamberlain Cunyada. If she keeps on targeting that area, she will keep getting points. But uh, para lang uh, may masabi ako about your alma mater, son. Better look good earlier, Cheska. 21-15, 21-19 against Arellano. You know what? Si Trisha Paras kasi. Siya yung third man. Yeah. Uh, siya yung reserve ni Veray Twins before. Um, so I have high hopes for her, and she grew up near the beach as well. So isarin yan sa mga talangka <laughs> na kakilala ko. You know, yung mga taong parang hindi na hirapan tumakbo sa <laughs> sa beach sa buhangin. Parang nasa land lang din kala mo na sa court eh. nasa indoor court. Labing dalawang Ooh, puntos. that was a good oh, spike Kunyada. by Kunyada. Kunyada. You know, we've been saying her name a lot this game. Seven points already for Chak Cunyada. Look at the form, look at the elevation and the placement for Chak Cunyada. Natural high leaper itong si Cunyada. I like her name, Chamberlain. Chamberlain. That was a good spike by Padua, targeting the end zone. The score, 17 for the Lady Altas, 11 for the Trash. Now, teams can also call timeouts here yes. in beach volleyball, right? Pero it's the decision of the players. Yon. Um, yung coaches po dito sa beach volleyball cannot coach. Yep. <laughs> they cannot scream at their players. They cannot help them. <laughs> oh, if you're a player, that's such a relief, I guess. <laughs> but the um, bad point lang dan is because sometimes you need the guidance of your coach. Uh -uh. And you don't have that. Ano, uh, ang nagiging unofficial coach is yung kanilang reserve player sitting there at the bench. But of course, all the coaches are still here. Yes. They get to talk to the players yes. after the tournament, in between matches. Mm -hmm. Pero during the match, it's only the reserve that can sit on the bench. Yes, and it's the player's decision inside the court kung kailangan na nila ng timeout. If they need a rest, if they need to uh, talk, or kailangan nila mag-break ng momentum, it's all their decision. Except na lang, hindi ko lang alam kung sinasenya saan sila ng coaches nila from the bleachers, ano. I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> allowed by the rules, though. <laughs> Pero... Sabo lang. <laughs> ano, wink, wink lang. <laughs> so, ayan ang mga diskarte sa beach Good volleyball. Good target ha. by Silva. Itong si Silva, nakakarami na rin ito ng puntos, eh. I can see why she's so excited being a libero back at indoor volleyball, and now she gets the spike. Ayun na nga. A libero who scored eight points in their first match, their previous match against Mapua, which they won 21-13, 21-15. That was a landslide win. Cunyada. Okay, free ball given to Perpetual. Oh, I like how they set this up. Oh, oh yun lang, I jinxed her. Sorry. Sorry, Dao. <laughs> Hindi kasi ang sorry. No, I knew it was gonna happen because she had a nice pass. Yes. It's a setup na ni Padua. She called it. She was right there in the middle. Walang sumabay. I believe it was a little too low on the set. Um, oh, wow. And, and that's the libero skills right there, there. Cheska. Digging skills. Alam niya. That's hard to control and it's even harder to defend yung front line, especially kung nasa middle to end zone ka ng court. Ang hirap pong tumakbo sa loob ng sand court. I need to stress that. And Letran, throwing that one away, set number one goes to the University of Perpetual Health System, Dalta, 21 to 15. This is day number one, match number seven in the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament.
simula sa GMA Integrated News, ang news of ng Filipino. Ang pinakamalaki, pinakapremyado at pinakapinagkakatiwalaan sa larangan ng pagbabalita. Mas pinalakas pa sa pagsasanib puwersa ng GMA News, GMA Regional TV, GMA News Online at DCWB. Tulad ng sitwasyon natin sa China, may overlap. Narito po kami ng... Mula sa women's volleyball, magtungo naman tayo sa men's volleyball action. Currently nga po ay naglalaban ng perpetual men's volleyball team versus the Let men's volleyball team and we are currently at set number one kung saan Perpetual is leading by three points. Kaya naman, yan muna mula dito sa men's volleyball. Balik na sa inyo, Anton and Jessica. Maraming maraming salamat and for that update from the men's side as we are saying hello from the sand courts here at Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Yes, habang nangyayari po ang women's matches, Simultaneously, on the other side, the men's division is also taking place. Yes, mirroring the schedule of the games of the women's, of course. So if you want the full updates, do follow our social media pages, GMA Sports PH, GMA Synergy, and GTV Philippines as well. And, of course, NCAA Philippines. Silva to serve. That's a good reception from Tapol. Ooh, Cunada touching the net. First point goes to perpetual help in set number two. That was a witty play by Janine Padua. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hindi ko na isi-set to. Kaya ko na i-point to eh. <laughs> so, so that is uh, one example of how you can disguise an attack. Mm -hmm. Akala mo kay Dapol babalik yung bola. But Padua just uh, did what we normally see from setters indoor. Ooh, that was wide from Padua. Oh, answering that with a service error is Cunada. Hangin ba yung naririnig ko, Chaska? I believe so. Oh, <laughs> tsaka nakikita ko rin yung mga flag eh. So hinangin na yung bola sa serve na yun. Biglang yes. nag-curve eh. <laughs> yun yung isa ko sinasabi na um, pati nature minsan kakampi or kalaban mo eh. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Good save. Yan, wa, wa, yan, yan, yan yun yung mga attacking yan. That was a good save by Dapol getting that point. You know, kinaltukan na lang niya yung bola because it was too close to the net. Kinaltukan. There. <laughs> That's my term. <laughs> kinaltukan. Okay, because the, the textbook term for what she just did is cobra. Eh. Yeah. Yun yung text, textbook <laughs> term when it comes to beach volleyball. Pero ito. Cheska Rakraki <laughs> finally gave us the answer. Kinaltukan. Well, yun naman talaga yung madalas sinasabi. Um, yun na, na lang yung bola. Kinaltukan na lang. <laughs> Ayan. Sing it again. Mm. That's a variation of kinaltukan. Tama ba? Yes. <laughs> a different one. That was a punch. <laughs> ah, ito yung kanina. Yes. Ito yung Ayan, kanina. Yung Parang Ayan. ano na lang talaga. Knuckles lang. Okay. Error, service error by Dapul. We switch hands with the score four for perpetual help, three for Letran. You were explaining kasi kanina eh, bawal yung katulad sa indoor mm -hmm. na daliri yung ginagamit. Yes, and even sa setting, it's very different. As long as yung ball hindi umikot, then it's a good set. Pag yan umikot kahit konti lang, it's the point of your opponent. Laging, laking uh, adjustment. Yeah. And that's why you will see the girls hindi sila nag-overhead set. Eh. Uh -huh. They usually just do it underhand or digging set. 4-3 is our tally. You are watching this matchup between Perpetual and Letran. It's a close game so far. Perpetual took the first set 21-15. to 15. Both these teams are 1-0 right now in the team standings. This is Chamberlain Cunyada. 23-year-old from Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental. She had 14 points in the first match, which wow. was a win against Mapua. You know, they, these girls are probably looking for their second win, of course. Ooh, that was a good serve by Cunada. And if they come from behind and win this... That's a story. Yep, no fluke. Because uh, we haven't seen Good a match effort that went the distance. by Silva. 
All matches ended in two sets, yeah. Cheska. Yes. Ooh. Dapol. Good dive, but that was too strong for Cuneda. There's the drop shot by Padua. Good save by Silva there. Putting the libero Ooh. skills to work here on the sand. Long serve by Padua. Five all ang ating talaan. Nagaanuhan lang sila eh. <laughs> Nagahabulan sila eh ng isang puntos. Palitan ng puntos dito sa pagsisimula ng set number two. That was a good serve by Silva. The crowd now takes the lead, six to five. I also like the communication between Dapol and Padua. Yes. Um, big factor yan sa panalo nila, I believe, earlier, is because they always communicate with each other. Yun yung big thing with beach volleyball, eh. I mean, there's only two of you. So mm -hmm. you have to constantly communicate kung anong gagawin mo. I'm gonna, dito yung bola, dito ko dadalhin. Or habol, mga ganun ba? Uh, you need to constantly communicate, which nakakapagod if you're thinking, if you think about it. Diba? Alam mo, sa tagal natin na uh, magsistay dito sa Subic, I, I think down the road we're going to come up with some random unofficial awards like the most, uh, <laughs> the most talkative tandem, the best in communication, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. <laughs> that would be good. Para ano naman, ma ma comment natin sila. That was a good over uh, dig by Cunyada. Ang kita niya na si Dapol and Padua was in front. So, dinig niya lang sa likod. Sometimes it's that easy. You just need to look. Happiest tandem, isa pang naiisip ko. Sino? Ay, kanina, si Trisha, ang saya eh. <laughs> si Trisha. Si Trisha para sa saya eh. Silang dalawa ni Maxine. Nage enjoy lang sila eh. That's good. <laughs> Turo mo ba yun? Actually, hindi eh. Pag sa beach volleyball, nakasibangot ako eh. It's super hot. Pero sabi nga, inahanap pa ata nila yung mainit talaga. Uy. Sakto. Papasok na tayo sa summer. Before we know it, it's gonna be that season. 8 to 7 is our tally. Good received by Padua. Padua will hit. Oh, with a little bit of a help from the net there, but she gets the point. This is what you were explaining, your underhand set. Mm. And Padua. Another is for Padua. The lead goes back to That's a good serve by Padua. She's targeting Cunyada. Naka tatlong service ace na itong si Janine Padua dito sa ating laban. That's right. Tama ka, tinatarget nga niya si Cha. But that went over and they weren't expecting it. Point to Cha. <laughs> Chamberlain Cunyada. One of our high scorers so far here in the tournament with her 14 mm, yeah. in the First win game, against yeah. Mapua. You know, sometimes ikaw na lang din pipili kung sino tatargetin nyo kasi. Um, in beach volleyball, that's one to play from... The Lady Altas. You know, I've seen a team First ball. win an NCAA beach volleyball tournament doing primarily <laughs> one two plays. I know who they are. Alisa Eroa <laughs> and the Lady Beast Gretzel Soltones. <laughs> As you can see, and if any kung mga volleyball fans kay John, if you know Eroa, she's she's a tiny girl. She's a cute cutie girl. Oh, and tawag you know? nga sa kanya swahe. <laughs> what what is that? Like, like a like a shrimp, right? That's oh, cool. <laughs> that, that, that's what that's what yeah. yeah, that's what their teammates yes. used to call her. So she doesn't really spike that much. She's a libero as well. So what she does is if the opponents target her for the serve, she sends that receive straight to the net so that Gretchel can spike it. Set number two, it is we'll take a break now on a perpetual contra Senetran eleven to ten. ng pader na bumigay. Nangunguna sa pagbabalita. Halos 44,000 na sako ng asukal. Maasahan saan man, kailanman. Tatlo hanggang apat na PDL ang namamatay. Buong busong naglilingkod sa Pilipinas. GMA Integrated News. Ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang inyong GMA Integrated News.
back to... Look at that beautiful venue. The sand court here at the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Day number one of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. Uh, early workation for us, Jessica. Yes. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> the sand looks inviting. Gusto ko na mabarin yung shoes ko eh. Gusto ko na maglakad. Maglakad lang ha. I don't want to play. At sinabi mo, you were explaining, uh, ang kagandahan nitong uh, sand court natin is hindi masyadong mainit unlike mm -hmm. other courts. Yes. Uh, we had an experience before kasi naman yung league na yun, sa lagang sa beach mismo. <laughs> like you can see yung dagat oh, my. sa side. So, Alam mo yun, super unpredictable. Yeah, you know the last NCA Beach Volleyball Tournament that we covered was by the beach, also here in Subic. Yun yung time na nag-champion sina Soltones yes. at Ero against the Virai Twins. Yun yung debut ng Virai Twins. Yes, they were in the rookie year that year, pero they went to the finals, yeah, which I'm proud uh, of. Tandang-tanda ko yun eh, because they swept the entire elimination <laughs> round. So they were actually the favorites in the finals. Yes. Tapos si Eroa wasn't even the main player. Yes. Yung main player was Encarnacion. Pero na-injure siya dahil tumama yung mukha niya sa net. Oh. Ang pumalit, si Eliza Eroa. Yes, and doon na nag-start yung kanilang one-two play. Yep. Which, is, which was monstrous. Which up to now, I still can't forget. They so, won the championship using that. Ooh, that was a good spike by Dapul. See, I really like her look, ha? Huh? I uh, like the cap with the shades. Dapat si Padua din. <laughs> Oo nga, eh, para terno sila, yes. eh, no? Dapol averaged 9 points per match as an indoor player. Open spiker yung kanyang position. Hailing from Lucena City, itong si Mary Rose Dapol. And you can see talagang, ano eh, may angas eh. And she's got that leadership. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very vocal tong dalawang to. Ooh. Ayan, kinaltok na naman. You know, Cunada was prepared for the overball, pero sinunda ni, ni Padua ng konting, ayan o, no, kotong eh. <laughs> kotong naman. <laughs> Nag-iisip na kami ni Anton kung ano bang itatawag namin sa move na yun. Yeah, variety of turn. Kasi ano eh, iba rin yung, iba rin yung forma ng uh, kamay eh, with every type of hit eh. Oh, that was a little wide. Pero great intention by Cunyada. She was targeting that area. Walang tao doon. But look at that. Because of the net, it rolled pa sa net. Gumulong palabas. Sometimes the net helps. It's your friend. <laughs> yep, you're right. Sometimes it's the enemy. <laughs> Short serve by Dapul. Now for Petwell trying to hold on to this lead, they already took set number one, 21 to 15. Of course, if I'm Perpetual and I have a game later, uh -huh. I would want to end this game and close this game as soon as I can. Oh, that was in. Great target Dapol. by Dapul. 16-14, perpetual Grabe yung placement ni Mary Rose Dapol. I know. Parang ano eh, kabisadong-kabisado niya kung gaano ka lakas yung ibibigay niyang power eh. Nice read by Padua. Si yung mga ganon, if that was me, I would have taken that ball. Kasi di ako sure. <laughs> <laughs> Again, iba-iba yan. Yeah. It varies per personality and player. <laughs> Si Padua knows it. Because in momentum, nasa ka rin eh. They yes. have a three-point advantage. Ako, I'm scared to risk it. Ako. Yung iba, willing to risk it all eh. 17 to 15. Perpetual. Good dig by Silva. Cunyada pops it up. This is going to be a free ball for the Lady Altas. Another Dapol. by Dapol. Good dig again. Grabe effort ni Cunyada. See, that's what's hard with beach volleyball. You think that it's a three point lead. But 18 since you keep on the yung tinatak bo mo yung terrain na tinatak bo mo, it's harder. The taps. Good serve. And Jat Tandem seeing the finish line now, only needing three points to take their second Ooh. win in a power Good hit by Mary now Rose Dapol. Good spike by Dapo. She was on top of that ball. 
and the target nya was behind Silva. Time to by perpetual health. And after that fiery hit by Dapol, we will take a timeout. Score is 19 to 15. Get ready to get served. It's going to be an intense season. NCAA Season 98 Women's Volleyball coming this February. Sabi nila, mas masaya pag may kasama. Highly successful. Wow, I just love the sight of this venue, the sand court at the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Perfect place to have a beach volleyball tournament. 1930-15. Summer feels eh, in January. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Huh? Summer feels in January. Our first sporting event. No better way to begin 2023. Ooh. Miss hit by Cunada. Wow! Ball with a heavy spike. Wow, wow, wow. Mary Rose Dapple soaring and scoring for the Perpetual Lady Altas. Yes, and the thing is, because of the stint in beach volleyball, no, na talagang aro aro. If they continue this, oh my gosh. The indoor volleyball, it's gonna be wild. She's gonna play even better, she's gonna jump even higher. That medyo wild na yung hangin, Chesca. Yeah. <laughs> yes, medyo... Ayun o, tinulungan pa outside din yung bola. <laughs> it pushed the ball even further. Naging out tuloy. So that was a momentarily... Like a wild breeze passed yes. by us here. I'm sure everybody heard it. Last we definitely time. did through our headphones. Good dig by Silva. Overset. Pagkakataon para sa perpetual dito. They are smelling win number Ooh. two. Overset again. Ooh. It goes oh. back. What a way to win. Over. Set to overdig by Dapol. Getting that point and getting that win for perpetual. The tandem of Daps and Jack. <laughs> Mary Rose Dapol and Janine Padua, early candidates for best in chemistry, mm -hmm. winning this match 21 15, 21 to 16. Tignan nyo naman yon. <laughs> she answered the overset with the overdig. <laughs> it's gotta be the sun visor and the shades. Then, no, good no power, yes. <laughs> there I you have it. So. Mga kapuso, tagumpay ang perpetual laban sa Letran. 21 to 15 in set number 1. 21 to 16 in set number 2. Mary Rose Dapol, what a smart performance. But hats off as well to Janine Padua, who yes. tallied three service aces in the match. They are really a great tandem. So Letran will fall to 1-1. One and one. Perpetual mm -hmm. will improve to 2 and 0. Oh. They are at the top of the team standings and they actually have one more match later oh, yeah. on. <laughs> yes. So kailangan nila mag-rest after this. Kailangan nila mag-spray, mag-stretch. They need to prepare for one more game later on. Well-deserved win for the Perpetual Lady Altas and our player of the match, Mary Rose Dapol, is with Christine San Agustin. Anton and Cheska, we are here with one of our favorite tandem. We have Mary Rose Dapol, or Daps na lang for short. No? Kamusta ka naman? Kamusta ang feeling na nakabalik ka na ulit sa paglalaro ng beach volleyball after season 94? So ayun, sobrang saya namin na nakaabot naka ulit kami ng beach volleyball season 98. Um, excited na... Uh, uh, kinakabahan pero normal yun as a player pero in-enjoy lang namin. Nabanggit mo kanina nung kausap kita na five times lang kayo nag-train sa Buhangin. So ano yung pinaka-challenging na part ng paglalaro ngayon? Um, challenge sa amin yung pagpunta namin dito ng advance kasi na nakaapakagad kami ng, ano, ng venue. Nakapag-practice agad kami kung saan kami sasabak. Mm -hmm. Sobrang challenge sa amin yun. So, yun lang. 
Alam kong sobrang galing mo na, napanood namin lahat yung performance mo kanina, pero syempre, iba yung skill na binibigay sa'yo ng paglalaro sa, ano eh, sa beach. So, paano sa tingin mo makakatulong sa ito pagpasok natin naman sa indoor volleyball season? Um, sobrang gaan, paggaling ka talaga sa outdoor. Parang iba talaga yung skills mo. Parang kung ano ka sa indoor, mas nadadagdagan pagdating sa indoor. Feel lang. So malamang makikita namin na ah, mas magaling na daps ang makikita natin <laughs> sa pagpasok ng indoor volleyball season. Maraming salamat at ah, congratulations you. ulit sa ating tandem. Daps, thank you so much. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Cheska. Thank you. At dahil sa interview na yan, I am going out on a limb again to say that yung 9.9 .9 points per match ni Daps ay magiging double digits na sa season. Of course. Absolutely. And a big help yun. Maaga sila nagpunta dito. And they got to train saan sila maglalaro, which is great. At magpapatuloy po ang ating mga laro, JRU and Mapua. Coming up next, it will be Martin Javier and John Victor Guzman on the call. Again, maraming salamat sa pagtutok dito sa day number one ng NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. We will leave you with the highlights and, of course, the performance by XO. 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 Soak up the sun and the fun. NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. Catch it this January 17 to 21 to 30 p.m. on GTV. Sa mga pandaigdigang isyong nakakaapekto sa bansa. Mula rito sa Beijing, China. Nasa sentro ang GMA Integrated News. At isa na namang mahalagang pagtitipon ng World Economic Forum sa Davos, Switzerland. Di pa rin tayo pahuhuli. Abangan ang mga pinakamainit na balita at live updates sa TV, online at radyo. Mula sa GMA Integrated News, ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ang pinakamalaki, pinakapremyado at pinakapinagkakatiwalaan sa larangan ng pagbabalita. Mas pinalakas pa sa pagsasanib puwersa ng GMA News, GMA Regional TV, GMA News Online at DCWB. Tulad ng sitwasyon natin sa China, may overlap. Narito po kami ng aking team. Halos bewang na yung bahagi. Ito yung bahagi ng pader na bumigay. Nangunguna sa pagbabalita. Halos 44,000 asako ng asukal. Maasahan. Saan man, kailanman. Tatlo hanggang apat na PDL ang namamatay. Buong busong naglilingkod sa Pilipinas. GMA Integrated News. Ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang inyong GMA Integrated News. They're back to rule the court. Get ready to get served. It's going to be an intense season. NCAA Season 98 Women's Volleyball coming this February. Sabi nila, mas masaya pag may kasama. Highly successful. Widely engaging. Love it, 
perfectly beautiful. Experience the best with Synergy, producer of remarkably acclaimed multimedia events and sports entertainment, delivering powerful performances, non-stop energy, and impeccable stage spectacles. Absolutely must-watch masterpieces from versatile artists. In this 2023, be part of more world-class experiential initiatives. Only from your Synergy. Ang mahalagang panlokal na balita makararating sa inyo sa pangunguna ng GMA Regional TV sa Luzon. One North Central Luzon. Balitang Southern Tagalog. Balitang Bicolandia sa Visayas. Balitang Bisda. One Western Visayas. At sa Mindanao. One Mindanao. Weekdays 5 p.m. on GMA Regional TV Channels. This 2023, watch these athletes bring pride and honor to their schools. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Mapa offensa, mapa defensa, and she goes dashing and smashing on that play. Kailangan din ang championship experience. And with bigger halftime performances. We are the number one team right now. This is what greatness is all about. Take a look at that again. Down the line finish. This is your NCAA Season 98 on GTV. Ang mga maiinit na usapin tungkol sa climate change. Tatalakayin ang mga batikan mamamahayag ng GMA Integrated News. Joseph Morong. June Veneracion, Sandra Aguinaldo, Ian Cruz, Chino Gaston, Oscar Oida, Rafi Tima, Mark Salazar, Emil Sumangil, Marie Sumali, Maki Pulido, at Cedric Castillo. Ang banta ng nagbabagong klima, abangat sa 24 oras mula sa News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang GMA Integrated News. Keep up with non-stop in-court action with GMA Sports. Catch the latest sports news here and round the globe. Be thrilled with conversations about the finest athletes and sports personalities. This is it, yes! And Mamuski with a 1-2 is now down to just six. And never miss a beat on the latest hardcore drama. We'll bring you stories behind each point and victory, one play at a time. Follow our official social media handles for your daily fix of hype and adrenaline. Online, GMA Sports. How's the first day back for everybody? It was great to see everyone. I think we were all happy to be back together. We will never get lost because we have our parents. Kumusta, Alexandra? Come with me for a tour of the world's biggest IKEA store. Being a PWD kasi in the Philippines is quite difficult. Ah, yun yung engineer nyo. Babae ka na. Bakit nga ba tila na bura sa kasaysay ang sistema ng pagsusulat na ito? Always stay updated with the latest news in the country and around the world through GMA News and Public Affairs Facebook and YouTube news feeds anytime, anywhere. Dahil wagi ang mayalam. Life hasn't been good. Still live at the Sand Court at the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. This is the opening day of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. And today it is a Tuesday, January 17. We continue with the afternoon games. Kani kanina lamang po, e napanood nyo yung laban ng Perpetual contra Letran kung saan nanalo. Ang um, Perpetual Altas, Lady Altas winning that one via a sweep 2-0. 
And that brings us to our second game this afternoon. The JRU Lady Bombers facing the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Both teams still looking for their first win of the tournament. Mga kapuso, maraming salamat ulit. Sa inyong pagtutok ngayon, we are live right now. Live streaming everywhere. GMA Sports PH, NCAA Philippines, and live right now on GTV. This is how you catch us online. YouTube, Facebook, NCAA Philippines. Twitter, Facebook, GMA Sports PH. And of course, since we are in the afternoon games, live right now on GTV. Mga kapuso, good afternoon. My name is Martin Avier, working alongside. I'll reintroduce him. Dahil po kanina, baka hindi nyo narinig yung introduction ko kanina, NCAA Beach Volleyball and Philippine Beach Volleyball legend, Mr. John Vic de Guzman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Magandang magandang hapon sa lahat ng kapuso natin. Nakatutok ngayon and I'm sure excited na kayo masaksiyan yung makasusunod pa natin games for today. Nakalimutan ko, kapuso actor, kapuso <laughs> hunk, John Vic de Guzman. Thank Eto you so nga. much. Ayan, John Vic, nakarami na tayong games ngayong araw na to. We proceeded with the opening ceremony earlier. Kanina, magandang action nakita natin. Letran contra Perpetual. Pero, dalawang teams natin dito. JRU contra Mapua. Mm -hmm. Gutom na gutom na manalo. Well, gutom na gutom in terms na kailangan-kailangan nilang manalo. Kasi alam naman natin na elimination round, round robin lang to, isa lang. Pag natalo ka ng isa, mm -hmm. may chance ka nang, di ba, mawala ka na doon sa roster papunta ng semifinals. That's But, right. ayan, tingnan natin kung ano yung standing ng uh, teams natin for today. So, our teams, at least naka-isang laro na tayo mm -hmm. dito. So, for JRU and Mapua, 0-1, losing their first assignment of the day. Kanina po, mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan. But Perpetual, looking yep. good, looking very strong with that combination of Tapol and Padua leading the charge. Pumunta muna tayo dito sa JRU Lady Bombers. Lost to EAC in their first game. These are their two players, Kyla Hazareno and of course, their libero, Yanyan Alonia. If you think about it, this is actually a good tandem. Mm -hmm. John Vic, dalawang uh, players very capable. Yan nga lang, e na-outlast sila ng EAC kanina. Yep. Compared naman doon sa team natin sa EAC, talagang kung veterano at veterano lang din, mm -hmm. mapapansin natin at makikita talaga natin kung gaano ka veterano yung pinakita ng EAC against JRU. Punta tayo sa JRU side. Nandito ngayon, may hatid sa ating report, si Cyril Sanchez. Sai, go ahead. Thank you, Martin. In the previous game of the JR, you have a Lady Bombers. They were not able to get that W against the EAC Generals. At nung makausap ko si Kyle Hasareno, nagkaroon daw sila ng mga jitters and points of adjustments. Isa na daw dyan ay yung pagkawala nila ng connection ni Yan Yan. Napansin pa nga daw to ng kanilang coach na si Coach Mia na parang hindi daw sila yung naglalaro ng sa loob ng court. Baka nga daw dahil nanibago sila. Pero sabi niya sa akin, stepping into this game, they just treat that previous game as a warm-up. Lalong-lalo na na dito sa Subic, present lahat ng Lady Bombers. Tingnan natin ko saan mararating ng suporta nila, Martin and John Dick. Oh, mm -hmm. maram, nakita na natin yan dito, first game, jitters, you know, some teams were able to overcome that. Thank you so much, Sai. But he also mentioned in full support dito ang buong indoor team ng JRU Lady Bombers. Kani-kanina nga, nagpa-practice pa dun sa court katabi natin dito. At saka sumasabay sila dun sa nag-perform na XOXO uh, XO natin. And I'm sure talagang tama yung sinabi ni Sai na um, nag adjust pa talaga pag uh, first game. Mm -hmm. Kasi talagang yung court, hindi ka naman nagtitraining dito eh. So That's kakapain right. mo pa yan kung, kung saan ka comfortable mm -hmm. at kung saan ka mas magkakaroon ng advantage. Tingnan natin ngayong uh, hapon kung ano yung ipapakita ng adjustments. Pero John Vic, kailangan nila makamove on kagad. Kailangan nilang maka-adjust mabilis. Pinanggit natin, single round robin single lang round to. Single round robin. Okay, so every game counts. Counts talaga. Every game mabigat. Mm -hmm dito sa ating team standings. Well, hindi, right. hindi pa naman tapos ang lahat, di ba? Pa. Uh -huh. Malaki pa yung chance nila, marami pa silang games na lalaruin. And mm -hmm. I'm sure, pag nag-dere-derecho at nakuha nila yung momentum, mm -hmm. magiging better for them. Now, let's go to the other side for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Frances Makatangay and Reina Verjino lost their first assignment against the Letran Lady Knights. 0-2 din yun. They got swept by the Letran Lady Knights and their reserve, of course, Player number three is their veteran spiker, Chini Bata. Now for Mapua, sila rin medyo nahirapan kanina. A lot of unforced errors against Letran and they just couldn't overcome mm -hmm. the offensive performance of Chamberlain 
Cunyada and more from Mapua's side. Nandito naman para sa kanyang report si Bailey Sakot. Bailey's. Magandang hapon, Martin and John Vic. I was able to talk to the Lady Cardinals and I asked them what their first hand ex first match experience was rather and they shared to me that they were overwhelmed. They were overwhelmed with the environment, the sand, the scorching heat and the overall experience of playing here in the sand court given that they had prior experience in indoor volleyball. And with that, Coach J. Emiliado reminded them of a few things that they are physically prepared for this. They just need to play more relaxed and to play with each other, for each other and have fun and enjoy the competition. Martin and John Vick. Bailey's, thank you so much. Now it's one thing to get overwhelmed with all of this. Bright lights, nakatutok sa yung camera. Tapos mamaya, second set, ang kalaban mo na, yung init, mm -hmm. yung hangin, at iba-iba pang uh, external factors. Yes. Importante dyan kasi nakafocus ka eh. Mm -hmm. diba? Sabi nga nila, the more na ginagalingan mo, the more na pinag-uusahan mo, every practice, sa tournament, lalabas na talaga yung totoo mong game. At the same yeah. time, kumbaga, hindi, ka, hindi mo iisipin yung panalo eh. Mas iisipin mo, maglaro ka na maganda, and magiging reward yung panalo pag diba, maganda yung performance. Nanggaling yan sa nag-iisang legend natin dito sa beach volleyball, Mr. John Vic de Guzman. Siyempre, alam na alam na yan. Alam na rin yung mga difficulties at challenges sa paglalaro ng beach volleyball. And we've seen that all throughout the day. Sa lahat ng mga laban natin dito sa first day natin, yes, so John Vic, nakita natin yan, first game jitters. Nakita natin yung mga teams really being affected by the heat, mm -hmm. by the wind. Minsan nawawala sa focus. But they all need to overcome the great teams, overcome all of those challenges to be become even greater and get themselves to the next level. Correct. Pangalawang laban natin this afternoon. Abangan yung mga kapuso. You guys are watching live streaming, uh, via live stream rather, GMA Sports PH, NCAA Philippines, and live right now on G. TV. Now, to officially open the match, let's turn you over to our venue announcer for the call-out of the players. Magandang hapon, mga kapuso, mula po dito sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Inandog po namin sa inyo ang NCAA Season 98 Achieve Greatness Everyday Beach Volleyball na inyong mapapanood ng live sa GTV at may live streaming pa sa lahat ng social media pages ng NCAA Philippines at GMA Sports PH. Now let's meet our officials for our next match. Our first referee, Antonio Espartero. Second referee is Ellie De Jesus. And now let's meet the players first for Jose Rizal University. Number one, Carila Hasareno. Number two, Marian Alonia. And their opponents, Mapua University. Number one, Frances Makatangay. And number two, Raina Verhino. It is the Lady Bombers versus the Lady Cardinals. Good luck to both teams. This is still opening day of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Competition. Kasama niyo Martin Avier alongside John Vic de Guzman and entering set number one of this match between Mapua and JRU. First crack at it for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Again, these two teams still looking for their first victory. JRU losing to EAC earlier via a sweep. Same fate for Mapua, but uh, against a different team, it was against Letran. But Binuenas, ang panimulang yeah. point dito para kay Frances Makatangay. So first blood for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. And that's what you lo love to see here. Para sa mga kapuso natin, who was just being introduced to beach volleyball. Up to 21 lang Up po. Up to 21 lang. Uh -huh. And three sets lang talagang maximum. Um, every game dahil kung yung indoor maabot ng five sets, mm. eto hanggang three sets lang talaga. Tapos, magpapalitan another tayo. That's ball. another race though. Verhino. Reina Verhino unleashing back-to-back -back aces. Mm -hmm. And we change sides. Magpapalik tayo ng court pag nakakatotal sila ng seven, seven points. points. So, sa first two sets natin yon, And then when we proceed to set number three, take for five points naman uh -huh. yung palitan natin. 
So service error after the two aces for Reina Vergino. Now this is Kayla Hasareno, JRU. Ito yung uh, sinusubukan nilang hanapin, yung familiarity and connection ng dalawang players ito. This is a libero and a spiker, Hasareno and Alonia combining for them. But that is sent long on the dig by Hasareno. Alam mo, Martin, I'm so happy today kasi yung weather hindi sobrang ingat. Oh, so nga. isang yeah. factor din na nakakapagpahirap sa mga players natin, especially pag ganitong klaseng tournament, yung init, yung heat factor, dahil talaga hihingalin ka. Oo. Oh, lalo pag terik na terik oh, yung oh. araw, ano? Nakaka-dehydrate. <laughs> yeah. But so far, getting the upper hand are the Lady Cardinals. That's a hit from Reina Verhino has come. A little bit more aggressive in this match. And a very quick timeout called by JRU. It is a 5-1 lead for the Lady Cardinals. Perfectly beautiful. Experience the best with Synergy. Producer of remarkably acclaimed multimedia events and sports entertainment. Delivering powerful performances, non-stop energy, and impeccable stage spectacles. Absolutely must-watch masterpieces from versatile artists. In this 2023, be part of more work. We're back to the coverage, and this is the format that we'll yeah. be following all throughout John Vick. Yeah, meron tayong single elimination round, and yung top four teams ay mag a sa semifinals, and yung top one and top two spots, meron silang twice to beat advantage. So finals po natin, mm -hmm. knockout lang knockout yan. Knockout game. Uh -huh. Now, two serving five. So kung baga, kung rank three ka or rank four ka, nanalo ka dun sa twice to beat serving. ng top one or top two, so, tatlong sunod-sunod talaga. Correct. Oh, oh. I think they should be changing yeah, courts change now. Yeah, court. Uh oh. Yeah. So, 6-2 to two lead for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Uh oh. And again, this is only day one. So, it happens. It happens. <laughs> oh naman, oh naman. Siyempre, nag adjust din tayo dito. At yung mga opisyalis natin. Yep. But that's, what we need to really monitor. So, sa lahat ng mga scoring. Dyan, yeah, every seventh point, let's say first seven, mag, mag change score tayo. Then, pag 14, yeah, add mo lang yung dalawang score. Yeah. So, may total 7, 14, and so on, mag change score talaga yan. Automatic. So, importante mm -hmm. ang math dito. Oh, de, tsaka, <laughs> importante din, Martin, yung change score. Kasi, uh -huh. may mga court talaga na ako as a player, naniniwala ako sa luck. Di ba? Yeah. May mga court talaga na. Ang gaan, ng, ang gaan ng laro ko dito eh. Hindi ko Correct. alam kung bakit eh. <laughs> Di ba? At saka mapapansin mo yun, may iba talagang laban na pag-change court. Nag-iiba yung momentum Nag-iiba yung momentum. Eh. Oo. Oh. Bilang nakakakuha ng momentum yung dehadong team. Tama. Pero dito, Mapua, tuloy-tuloy lang. To this time on the other yeah. side, and, Reina Verhino. And this is the first time na nakita ko na hindi nagkaroon ng violation call doon sa overhead set. Mm. Malinis. Itong si, ano, France, si, si Sweet. Uh, AKA Sweet, sweet yeah. si Makatangay. Si Sweet Makatangay. Si Makatangay. Service error mula dito kay Reina Verhino. So ball going back to and, the side of JRU. And alam mo ba si Sweet, si Makatangay oh. ay uh, anak ng isa sa ating uh, medalist national team. Yeah. yeah. Cherry yeah. Rose Makatangay. Wow. Yes. Okay. This uh, is so uh, random <laughs> pero I was able to talk to Coach Cherry Rose na yan. Nasa Batangas yan eh. Di ba? Nasa Lipa, Batangas siya. Sila yung mga legends when it comes yan. to indoor volleyball ng Philippine team. Nag-sea games. Nag-sea games. Uh, Nag-medal. Yeah. Anak pala siya. Mm -hmm. So second generation volleyball player to. You guys saw earlier the entire JRU Lady Bombers team watching intently, cheering on. But that's great to know. Ayan po sila. That's mm -hmm. great to know. Second generation na po na si Francis Makatangay. Okay. Now, now I feel old. Because I interviewed my mom a few years four back, four talking Zanzibar about uh, beach volleyball mm -hmm. and volleyball sa mga provinces natin. Coach Mia Chuseco, head coach of the JRU Lady Bombers, <laughs> alongside the Mancom representative of JRU, <laughs> yeah. Sir Paul Supan, also our NCAA chairman for season 98. 
Well, kung mapapansin natin, Martin, yung mga coaches na sa labas, mm. di ba? Yeah. Gaya na discuss natin kanina, wala silang pagkakataon mag-coach inside the court ng beach volleyball dahil yun ang rules eh. That's right. Kailangan sundin talaga. Kahit pagtawag ng timeout, mm-hmm. Eh, nasa players. discretion niya ng players kung kailan sila tatawag ng timeout at kung feel nila kung pwede na silang tumimeout. Well, kung tutuusin, Martin, yung, yung coach kasi malaking bagay, malaking impact eh. Mm-hmm. Especially pag uh, may mga nakikita sila outside the court na hindi mo nakikita right. while you're playing inside the court, ba? Diba? So, I think mind mindsetting na lang talaga kung paano mo gagawin, kung paano ka mag adjust kung nalulo moral ka dahil wala kang coach. Uh-huh. So ang gagawa na sa kanila para noon or para sa kanila noon ay ang kanilang reserve yeah, board. Yeah, so, <laughs> siya yung nakakakita eh. Napapanood niya kung Min- ano yung nangyayari. Minsan may senyasan pa yan. Yung, yung, yung reserve player titingin doon sa coach. May senyas yung coach. Alam ah, niya na agad yung ibabato niya, di ba? <laughs> alam mo, ang key lang dito para sa mga coach natin, makapwesto sila ng maganda. Yes sa labas. <laughs> sa ilalim ng stairs natin. Kasi lang. Oh, ayan, hide lang siya. Pero yan yan Alonya able to score mm-hmm. an ace. Reina Verhino. Hasareno going to Alonya. We rarely see her take a spike. Frances Makatangay going long. And that's an attack that's error for Mapua. At isa yung sa nagiging problem ng isang beach volleyball player. Dito sa sand, talagang mahirap tumalun eh. So, mm. proper timing, vertical jump, yun yung pinaka um, kailangan-kailangan mong pagtuunan ng yeah. panahon. Kasi Ibang iba sa indoor. Bukod dun sa pagtalun mo, pagkatapos nun, iisipin mo yung power mo. Kasi syempre, mm-hmm. placing-placing lang yan sa kabila. Katulad nun, Totoo. ni Reyna Perino. And sa lahat po nang nanonood, sa beach volleyball, mas lamang ka pag mas madiskarte ka. Yan. Oo. Pag malakas kang pumalo, sige, bigyan na natin mm-hmm. sa yan. But nauubos yung lakas. But ang diskarte ay hindi nauubos. Lalo na pag nasa second, third set ka na. Oh, especially pag crucial. Mm-hmm. Ito, hindi talaga makadiskarte dito ang JRU. Kayla Hasareno sending that one out. You've got a technical timeout. 8 to 13, the lead is with Mapua. Only from your synergy. Ang mahalagang panlokal na balita makararating sa inyo sa pangunguna ng GMA Regional TV sa Luzon. One North Central Luzon. Balitang Southern Tagalog. Balitang Bicolandia sa Visayas. Balitang Bisda. One Western Visayas. At sa Mindanao. One Mindanao. Weekdays 5 p.m. On GM. We are back here in Subic in Zambales. Nakikita nyo yung ating uh, napakagandang lugar dito. Hindi pa kami nakakaikot, pero mangyayari <laughs> din yan. In the next few days, we are at Subic Bay. Subic Bay Freeport Zone at the Sand Court. Para po sa inyong NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Competition. Right now, naglalaban po JRU contra Mapua. And so far, it's been the Mapua Lady Cardinals leading it by five. Make that six right now. That's another attack error mula dito kay Kayla Hazareno, who hasn't gotten the rhythm here. Mm-hmm. Hindi ito matawid yung kanya mga attack, eh, John Vic. Well, as um, a player na, alam mo yun, nanonood ka ng mga ganito klaseng tournaments, mapapansin mo kung gaano kataas yung energy, kung talagang, wow, welcome yung communication nila, magandang maganda inside the court. And mapapansin mo talaga pag low moral ang player. Uh-huh. So, dito sa ating first set, medyo napapansin natin dito sa JRU, medyo slow start sila, mabagal. And uh, yung communication nila medyo nagkukulang. Magkaiba naman ang nangyayari dito sa Mapua Lady Cardinals. By the way, this is Coach John Michael Miliado, yeah. head coach of Mapua University. Katabi po ang head coach naman ng LPU Lady Pirates, si Coach Cromwell Garcia ang nag-iisa. Ayan po, 15 to 9, make that 15 to 10 now. But despite uh, the shortcomings in the offensive end, John Vic, lima lang ang inahabol dito ng JRU. At dahil yan din sa mga unforced errors committed by the Lady Cardinals Ayun na, nga. <laughs> na nangyari din dito sa JRU. Yan yan, Alonya, committing it. I think more than five points na yata yung errors ng JRU dito sa ating first set. Nahirapan. And malaking factor yun para 
di ba? Imagine ko i-add mo yung puntos mo doon sa ah. puntos nila ngayon, di. Magkadikit lang yung score nila, but... That's right. Siyempre, oh. hindi pa tapos. Hindi <laughs> pa. 16 to 11 now. So, JRU gets a breather. Right there. 11 serving 16. So, 11 serving 16. Kyla Hazareno. Mm -hmm. Ignan natin kung makakaalagwa dito ang JRU. They are trying to bring down this lead. Hazareno! Sobra. Another service error. Oh. So the error is piling up for, 17 for, Mapua. For, JRU. for JRU. We switch sides again. 28 point. Mm -hmm. And Mapua four points away from taking the first set. Ang good thing dito sa Mapua, mapapansin mo yung, alam mo yung magaan na sila naglalaro. Mm. Unlike dun first game nila against Letran. Medyo, alam mo yung intense na intense. Though talaga right. namang masasabi natin yung performance ng Letran ay talagang iba doon sa pinakita ng Mapua. Oo. Oh, magandang connection ni Silva at saka ni Cunha doon sa laban nila na yun. Pero dito, bumabawi ang Mapua Lady Cardinals. Reina Verjino mm -hmm. continues her scoring ways. 18 to 11 now. Care Martin, of Mapua. Martin, oh. na, na mention mo kanina, na, na, napansin lang natin. May mga, di ba, sa, sa beach volleyball lineup, may tatlong players. Minsan, minsan may kita natin, bakit reserve yung isang player na pagdating sa indoor sobrang galing? Oo nga. Parang hmm. si ano? Sige. Di ba? Parang reserve player ng Mapua. Si Chini Bata. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi may mga ano kasi, Martin, sa, sa beach volleyball kasi, it's all about the connection. Paminsan-minsan, ah. oo, oh, oh, magaling ka. But hindi, kumbaga mas mahirap i-work out kasi, lalo na kakaunti yung time nila na nag-prepare, hmm. mas madaling i-work out yung communication at saka yung tandem, yung yeah. chemistry inside the court, more than the skills. Okay. Kasi given the skills, meron naman lahat yan eh. Mm -hmm. Pero yung tandem nyo, yung, yung kung paano kayo maglaro inside the court, yung gaan nyo habang naglalaro inside the court, yun yung mahirap practice in. That's right. And it takes time para makuha ng dalawang players yon habang naglalaro inside the court. So that's why coaches prefer mm -hmm. to field Mm -hmm. Those two players na alam nila na maganda ang connection, alam nila na maganda ang uh, chemistry mm -hmm. on Kasi the court. Kasi paminsan-minsan may dalawang players na talagang star players, pero uh -huh. pag pinagsama mo sila, hindi sila nagkakasundo uh -huh. sa court. Yeah. So yan po, Beach Volleyball 101 <laughs> mula kay John Vic de Guzman. Pero Mapua dito looking good. Set point for Mapua. They're at set point. One point away from taking the first set. And as we can see, yung ginagawa ng Mapua, mararamdaman mo yung chemistry nila dito sa ating game. Much better performance. Diba? And that's an ace for Reina Verjino. And the Lady Cardinals take set number one. So it's 1-0 care of Mapua over the JRU Lady Bombers will be back for set number two. You guys are seeing the scoring here, 21 to 13. First set goes to the Lady Cardinals. Back at it, set number two coming up next. Twenty twenty three. Watch these athletes bring pride and honor to their schools. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Mapa offense, mapa defense, and she goes dashing and smashing on that play. Kailangan din ang championship experience. And with bigger half time performance. Back to the coverage. Here's an update from our men's volleyball competition. And dito ngayon si Sai Sanchez. Sai. The heat is still on here at the side court for men's beach volleyball at dito ay nasungkit din ng Mapua ang pagkapanalo laban sa JRU for the first set. Playing for the JRU heavy bombers is Kilban and Prado at para naman sa Mapua ay si Espolar at Espinola. Makikita natin kung mababawi ng JRU ang kanilang side for the second set. Balik sa inyo, Martin and John Vick. Say, maraming salamat. Abangan natin yan. Action dito sa men's volleyball competition. Ano mo sana maglaro yun, John Vick, ah? One day. <laughs> One day dito sa competition natin. But Sai Sanchez bring us updates from the men's volleyball side. Entering the second set. At gustong gusto ko mag-cover ng men's volleyball. Kasi you know what, uh, Martin, makikita natin sa laro ng women's 
rare kang makita na nagbablock. Correct, and correct. gusto ko lang sanang i-discuss yung blockings when it comes to indoor and beach volleyball. Sa indoor, pag galing block, hindi pa i-consider as one touch yan. Ah. Diba? May three touches tayo. Sa beach volleyball, pag tumama yan, galing block, considered as one na yun. One touch yun? Oo. Oh, oh. So pag, pag indoor, umaabot ng uh, four touches, basta galing blockings. Pero pag, pag beach volleyball, tatlo lang talaga. Wow. Oh. Okay. Kahit na-deflect lang. Na-deflect lang. Considered as one touch na yun. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a huge change, eh. Kasi kailangan mo ibalik agad. Sa Ibabalik kabila. mo agad talaga yon. Unlike yung sa indoor, di ba? Tumama, mm. nakuha, naset, pinalo. Mm. Dito, once na tumama, d- dapat set mo na. Mm. Or itataas mo na dun sa uh, ka-partner mo para maibalik niya agad dun sa kabila. Yeah, but so far in maybe all of the games, hindi masyado nag attempt ng blocks mm-hmm. yung uh, ating ladies yes. dito sa women's volleyball competition. Kayla Hazareno. Kaya advantage din dito, Martin, yung may magandang um, control sa bola. Dahil pag naiset mo dun sa spiker na talaga nakakapalo sa, sa net, advantage talaga. Kasi walang blocker. Discarten lang talaga ito. Mm-hmm. Makatangay, off-speed hit. Oh, that's a nice play coming from Frances. Makatangay. Nakakatawa si Sweet ngayon uh, sa game natin against uh, JRU. Maganda na yung pinapakita niya. Mas, mas confident na siya. Mas maganda yung connection nilang dalawa. Eh nakakapag-set up sila ng play. Ooh. Yeah, good read. Narinig mo yung ano dun. Yung sinabi dun ni uh-huh. Yanyan Alonya. Sabi niya, ako na. Binasa niya. At uh, nabasa niya ng maganda yun. Over ang bola. <laughs> And that's a kind of communication you wanna see and hear from your players. Kasi dalawa lang kayo eh. Yeah. Sa court. I-compare mo sa sa indoor volleyball na talagang pitong players yan eh. Though, ang, ang mahirap lang kasi sa indoor, ani maraming players ang kailangan mong pakisamahan na ugali, personality, attitude. Unlike dito sa beach volleyball, kung tatlo lang kayo, mas importante yung kapartner mo talagang nagje-gel kayo ng dalawa uh, and ang mahirap lang is yung trabaho talagang tatrabahuhin niyo kasi dalawa lang kayo sa court uh, that's right oh here's the return oh that's on Inside. the line that's on the line wow Reina Verhino yeah. making something out of nothing right there kala ko lalabas na yun eh <laughs> binalik lang niya eh. So nakalala ko, nasa ko nakausap to si, or yung mom neto ni Frances Makatangay. Mm-hmm. She guested when we started NCAA season 96, yung nasa studio lang kami doon. We guested our volleyball champions from the SEA Games before. Mm-hmm. So nandun si Miss Cherry Rose, bumisita siya doon at nandun yung mom ni, ni Frances. 5-4 to four lead for the Lady Bombers. And now they're back on top. So it looks like na shake off na nila yung rust wala sa set number uh-huh. one. And as I say that, though, <laughs> nakapuntos dito ang mapuwa. Nabati mo, uh, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> na jinx ko yun, ah. Oo. Ano kayang, ano kayang pakiramdam na ano? isa ka sa mga anak ng mga ng magagaling na volleyball players? Oo oh, nga, you know? Yun yung naisip natin, eh. Kung baga, para kang... Nung nilabas ka, nung mga parents mo, meron ka na agad nung skills. Oo. Oh, diba? Tsaka instant advantage yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi alam mo na yung gagawin mo, magte-training ka, meron ka ng head start na ito yung po pwede mong puntahan. At tsaka bata ka pa lang, kung talagang nagustuhan mo na yung volleyball, madali na para sa parents mo na, yeah. alam mo, ituro kung ano yung makakabuti para sa'yo. That's right. Meron ka ng idea kung saan ka po pwede pumunta. Sa love life lang ang mahirap. Yun lang. Yun lang. Hindi mo matuturo yun. <laughs> Tingnan natin to replay natin. Yan yan, Alonya. Targeting the spot at the back. Mm-hmm. And JRU with a two-point lead. Alam mo, Martin, isa yan sa pinakamahirap na spot. Pag yan ang target every time uh-huh. naglalaro ka ng beach volleyball, yung kitna. Uh-huh. Kasi syempre, zone one, zone two lang naman. Kumbaga, dalawa lang namang sides yung pag, pag-aaralan mo. Eh, kung pagbabantayan mo. Eh. Pero pag nilagay sa kitna, medyo mahirap. So, puntos doon para kay Kayla Hazareno. Napa-timeout itong LPU. Or mapuha pala. Mapuha nag-timeout. This 
is what greatness is all about. Take a look at that again. Down the line finish. This is your NCAA Season 98 on GTV. Ang mga maiinit na usapin tungkol sa climate change. Tatalakayin ang mga batikang mamamahayag ng GMA Integrated News. Joseph Morong, June Veneracion, Sandra Aguinaldo, Ian Cruz. 8.35. Back to the coverage. It is eight serving five, care of the JRU Lady Bombers looking good. And set number two, nag-time out kanina ang Mapua. Mm -hmm. Eight for JRU. At napaganda pa yun. Six. Forcing a service error on Kayla Hazareno. Ito yung nakakalungkod sa side ng uh, JRU. Paminsan-minsan nakakuha sila ng puntos pagdating sa atake. But pag tungtong nila sa service line, nag -e error sila. And free point para yun sa Mapua. Kasi hindi ka na, unang-una, hindi ka na nagbigay ng energy, hindi ka nagbigay ng effort. At same time, nakakuha ka ng puntos ng ganun kadali. Tama. Yun ang ultimate momentum killer. Mm -hmm. Pero ito, this will sail out for Francis Makatangay. You guys are still joined by Martin Avier alongside John Vic de Guzman here in the broadcast. And JRU looking to give us Service our second Alonia. extended game. Yanyan Alonia with an ace. Nagya enjoy na sila dito second set. Kaya naman, may kita mo na na talagang napapasmile na sila every point na nakukuha nila. Four point lead for JRU. Makatangay. Alonia with the retaliation. Here's Alonia again. Ito si Makatangay. Virgino will try. Kept up by Hasareno, pero wala na nga abutan yep. itong si Hanyan Alonia. Sa lahat po nang nanonood sa atin ngayong hapon, gusto ko lang malaman nyo na sa beach volleyball, Seven, bawal seven, po ten. ang first ball na kukunin mo ng overhead. Mm. Overhead na ganun. Kailangan naka-close yan. Oh. Magkadikit. Unlike sa indoor, di ba? First ball, Pwede. kunin mo na overhead. Pwede. Ah. Pero dito sa beach volleyball, violation ang itatawag sa'yo. Ang pwede lang dito ay iseset or yo over pero kasi may rules na kasi ngayon Martin na bagoy na pag yo over mo na using overhead uh -huh. kailangan na harap ka sa bola uh -huh. hindi pwedeng basta-basta na ihuhulog mo or dahil or pare moving ka oo oh, oh, mahirap yung moving din violation din pero tayong natawagan niya kanina na violation here's the return by Hazareno wow Hazareno scores once again look at the smarts on the court by Kayla Hazareno recognizing that two Mapua players were up in front, so she targeted the back. Dug it up, sent it at the back line. And it is an ace. That's an ace for Hazareno. Back-to-back points for Kayla Hazareno. Unti-unti na nagdadire-direcho. Yung momentum nitong JRU sa ating second set. Martin, I want to see the no, the one-two play dito sa beach volleyball. Oh, Di ba? Yung galing, galing kang receive, ididikit mo na sa net. Uh, and then dahil well-connected kayo ng partner mo, pwede niya na agad paluin or yung over. Let's go first to a technical timeout. 13 to 8 lead for JRU. Oscar Oida, Rafi Tima, Mark Salazar, Emil Sumangil, Marie Sumali, Maki Pulido, at Cedric Castillo, ang banta ng nagbabagong klima, abangan sa 24 oras mula sa News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang GMA Integrated News. Keep up with non-stop in court. Our previous champions and MVPs, we mentioned 2018, 2019, 93-94th season of the NCAA. Isa Viray, parehong MVP. The Viray Twins are, uh, were the champions. San Vera University going back to back. Before that, it was a four-peat for San Sebastian. Led by the one and the only Lady Beast. The ghost, uh, the ghost, the ghost, goat. The goat. NCAA Volleyball Women's Division. Gretchen Gretchen Sultones. Sultones. That's now, right. 14 to 8 for JRU. So 14 to 8. JRU trying to pull away. In the second set. At parehong gumagana to. Hasareno, Alonia. 
working seamlessly yep. in the second set. And Yanyan Alonya able to convert that time. Nakakatuwa to si Alonya. Kung mapapansin natin, kanina pa siya, ganun, at ganun yung ginagawa niya. And napaka-effective para sa kupuna ng JRU dahil dire-diretso yung score nila uh -huh. every time ginagawa niya yun. Yeah. 15 to 8. Biggest lead of JRU in this match. Tagdagan mo pa ng isa. 16 to 8 now. It is now 16 to 8 for the Lady Bombers. Well, we have our second th three setter of the day. Yung unang three setter natin, yung laban ng LPU at San Sebastian. That was our very first game of the tournament. So, could it be? Ito na ba yun? Pangalawa natin. JRU is looking good. Para nagbaliktad Martin yung momentum oh, ng first set at the second set. At ang drastic ano ng uh -huh. pagkakaiba ng first at second set. Dahil kanina JRU yung maraming errors. Oh, maraming errors on JRU at convincing din ang performance ng Mapua. It was very hino and of course makatangay alternating. Mm -hmm. On those hits. Well, hindi pa imposible to Martin na maha mahabol nila uh -huh. tong ano. Dahil sa beach volleyball, ang bilis ng puntusan. 17 to 10 is the score. One more and we will switch sides again. Again, Mapua taking the first set. Jay, are you trying to stay alive in this match? Both teams still looking for their first win. Oh, yan yan, Alonya. Yeah. And that's the magic of a libero. Yes. Ang pinakamahirap na magiging kakampe sa, sa volleyball ay yung net. Oo, oh, correct. <laughs> At napapansin ko yan kanina, mula dito kay Lara Silva ng Letran, ang hilig niya dyan eh, dahil yung mga libero natin, kabisado yung mga short digs na yan eh. Yung naitatawid mo, uh -oh. tamang-tama lang, dun sa may harap ng net natin, nagiging weapon tuloy. Uh -oh at pumupunta si mga digs nila. Ang hirap naman kasi kunin sa beach volleyball no. Hirap mga ganoong ka short ball, super short ball ang tawag doon. <laughs> yep. Iba naka-angulo pa eh. <laughs> Di ba? Uh -oh. 18 to 10. So Mapua still looking to regain their momentum. Oh, Alonya almost falling down. Yep, he was a bit off balance as he was Yep. Running for that ball. Back to back points now for the Lady Cardinals. So, Lady Cardinals. With back to back points. Sila naman ang sumusubok kumapit dito. Good and serve. That's an ace. ace for Francis Makatangay. With a serve is ace. Napa time out. Napa time out at JRU. <laughs> oh, ayaw nilang mawala. Itong lamang nila. We'll go to this uh, timeout first care of the Lady Bombers. Sports. Catch the latest sports news here and round the globe. Be thrilled with conversations about the finest athletes and sports personalities. This is it, yes! And Mamuski with a 1-2 is now down to just six. And never miss a beat on the latest hard court drama. We'll bring you stories behind each point and victory, one play at a time. Follow our official social media handles for your daily. And we're back inside the sand court at Subic Bay Freeport Zone, our official venue of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Competition. Name's Martin Avier alongside John Vic de Guzman, 18 to 13 lead. For the JRU Lady Bombers, 13, three points away from tying this match and forcing a decider, a third set. And Francis Makatangay commits the service error. Napaganda yung timeout ng JRU. Mm -hmm. And that's one purpose of the timeout, mm -hmm. to freeze the server. And Medyo to cut the momentum. Cut the momentum, tama. Oh, oh pero sila rin nag-error. <laughs> Yan naman ang ano, <laughs> nag-error sila, hindi dahil nakat yung momentum. Nag-error sila dahil parang, alam mo yung feeling na nagmamadali. Uh, Alright, later on, we'll, mm -hmm, we'll get an update from the men's side of things. Care of Bailey Sakot, mamaya-maya po yan. Meantime, Mapua on the attack. Alonya setting up Hazareno for the kill. Well, dito sa 
sa part na mapuwa naman, nakakapag nakakuha sila ng counter sana eh. Uh, Pero yung placing lang ng bola, sumasakto to uh, sa mga players ng JRU. Set point situation for the Lady Bombers. Good set. Verhino. Oh, short on that attempt. Going straight to the net. One apiece. We go to a third set. Dito po sa laban ng Mapua contra JRU. Pagbalik po natin, it's the decider right here on GTV. Online GMA Sports. How's the first day back for everybody? It was great to see everyone. I think we were all happy to be back together. We will never get lost because we have our parents. Kumusta, Alexandra? Salamat at nakapunta ka rito. Come with me for a tour of the world's biggest IQ. Welcome back, mga kapuso. This is NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball for the men's division side of things. Mapua versus JRU. Mapua is leading this match one to none. Nakahabul po ang Mapua during this ongoing second set. So they are now on top by one against the Heavy Bombers. And if they win, they win with a dub. And if JRU comes back, we will extend to a third set. Back to you, Martin and John Vic. Bailey's, thank you so much. Again, simultaneous po nangyayari ang ating uh, men's at saka women's mm -hmm. beach volleyball competition. Pero third set tayo dito. Unang three-setter na kinover natin or na at least merong coverage uh -huh. dito sa GTV at saka sa live streaming dahil yung uh, for very first game natin at 7.30 San Sebastian LP. Yun lang po ang nag uh, isang three-setter natin bago itong laban ng JRU at Mapua. All right. So, quick reminder for everybody, third set, only up to 15. And again, we change courts every five total points. Mm -hmm. So, first blood. Ito nga, JRU. Dito, Martin, sa uh, third set. Labanan to ng composure talaga. Mm. Kung sino mas compose, kung sino yung may gusto, siya yung makakakuha ng panalo. That's right. All about composure. All about consistency. Mm -hmm. Para sa magkape lang panig natin. Less Play. errors. <laughs> oh, yeah. We gotta emphasize that. Uh oh. Kasi first set natin, JR yung marami. Pangalawang set, mapuwa naman ang marami. Makatangay had to stop. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. coming up short on the attempt. Medyo na off time lang naman. Mm. Maganda naman yung uh, intention niyang i-drop yung bola dun sa cross court, but. Yun nga, violation and error ang naibigay ni Sweet. Oh, Azareno huh? sending that one straight to the net. And because we're only up to 15 here, John Vic, that's something you can't afford uh -oh. in the third set. At kung papansin natin yung 2-1 na yan, ha? panay errors yan lahat. <laughs> yep. Magkabilang panig natin, Alonia. Azareno. The drop, here's Verhino. Setting up Makatangay, who sends it low. So 3 to 1, another error via an attack. Uh -oh. Labanan ng pasensya to, Martin. Correct. Dito sa third set, labanan ng pasensya to. Sino yung mas may pasensya, yep. mas madali. <laughs> so far, JR yung meron yan. Hazareno, itinawid. Makatangay, setting up Verhino. Sharp hit, saved. Sent over by Hazareno. Ball is still up. And that's yep, that's a good point for Verhino. Alam mo tawag namin doon sa ginawa niya? Knuckles. Knuckles. Mm, knuckles. Yeah. Yung naka, parang hindi yeah. totally nakamuka, pero parang nakatumilang yung mga fingers. Mm. Kasi good ball yun eh. Uh. Bawal kasi yung naka-open eh. It's tinulak lang niya. Oh, tinulak niya lang. 3-2. to two. So Mapua keeping in step with JRU. In the third set, we change sides. Again, total of five points. Magpapalit tayo. Three to tayo dito. Yan yan alonya. Hasareno sends it over. Makatangay. Uh, overshoots. Too long. The lead is two for JRU. 
So you see fatigue, maybe nerves being a factor here in the third set. Buti na lang, nabawasan pa nung ano, heat factor. Ayun. Dahil medyo mahangin na. Uh, oh. oh, that's another long hit. This time from Virgino. So, Mapua with back-to-back -back attack errors. Again, it was the Lady Cardinals who won the first set. JRU beating them in the second. And now, JRU is looking to win two straight sets and take their first win, Hazareno unleashing a service ace. Four points na ang kalamangan ng JRU dito sa ating third set. At kailangan mas stop na to ng uh, Mapua Martin or else mas makakababa ng moral. Tama ka, namamagana itong lamang ng JRU. Verhino, Alonia, underhand set, tumawid. Makatangay will try. Alonia, back to Hazareno. Here's Makatangay again. Yan yan Alonia with a save. Sent across by Hazareno, but it will go out. So Mapua gets the point. Yes. Medyo nabibitin lang ako pag umaatak itong Mapua. Kasi ang dami nilang bola talaga na re-recover eh. Sana eh. Galing dun sa attack ng JRU. Mm. Pero hindi nila nakoconvert as attack dahil sumasakto pa rin dun sa mga players ng JRU yung bola. Uh -huh. And this will not help them yep. attack or service error rather from Francis Makatangay, 7-3 as the tally. So 10 total points, we switch ends again. But JRU looking good. Sa mga ganitong, Almost halfway there. Sa mga ganitong klaseng game, ano, uh, Martin, you really have to think positive. Mm -hmm. Dahil talagang wala ka ng choice eh. Dalawa lang naman kayo naglalaro. Hindi naman basta-basta pwedeng isab yung kakampi mo eh. Uh. So pag nagkakaroon ng uh, hard times itong kapartner mo, kailangan kausapin mo. Kasi wala nang ibang tutulong sa inyo kundi kayo lang dalawa That's inside right. the court. It's more on the mental aspect. Oo, oh, oh, talaga. Kasi uh, maganda naman yung pinakita ng first set. Correct. Diba? Yung second set, medyo siguro breaks of the game. Talagang nangyayari. Mababay momento. Yeah. Kailangan mo talaga makarecover. So, Mapua. Kinakapita ng JRU. Timeout called by the Lady Bombers. Being a PWD kasi in the Philippines is quite difficult. Ah, yun yung engineer nyo. Babae pala. Bakit nga ba tila na bura sa kasaysay ang sistema ng pagsusulat na ito? Always stay updated with the latest news in the country and around the world through GMA News and Public Affairs, Facebook and YouTube news feeds anytime, any Set number three action for you guys. My name is Martin Avier alongside John Vic de Guzman. Para sa laban ng JRU contra Mapua NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Competition. Our first day here in Subic. And five serving seven. Mapua scoring a couple of points. Finally stopping the bleeding here in the third set. And gaining a bit of a momentum right here. And it will continue with that push from Makatangay. Yan ang hinihintay natin dito sa Mabua. Galing dito sa second set, yung momentum nila. That's right. Yun nga lang, medyo nagkamali ng pagkakabasa itong uh, side ng JRU. Kala niya isa short ball. Kasi ilang beses nag-short ball si, ano, eh, si Sweet eh. Uh -huh. Nakuha nila. But this time, ayun na nga. So the lead is down to one. Yun, yun nga lang sumabit. Yeah, yeah, oh. Itong si Verhino. So that ultimately will end the run of the Lady Cardinals. Ito ngayon si Hazareno. Trying to find the finishing touches in the third set are the Lady Bombers. Oh, an ace! Miscommunication para sa Mapua. Hindi yung sinasabi ko kanina. Ang hirap talagang uh, basahin pag sa gitna napupunta yung bola. Kasi mag, pag hindi kayo well-connected sa, is, sa isa't isa, magkakalituhan kayo eh. Hindi ko alam kung sino kukuha ng bola. At syempre, kailangan nyo pang ipag-decide yun. Syempre, yung unang kukuha, yun ang 
most likely magse-set up oh, oh. para sa spiker. Pero sa volleyball ang rules kasi diyan, parang play right. Ah. Kung sino yung makakakuha sa kanan, mm. siya dapat ang kukuha talaga. Oh, 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 mm. So makatangay daw. Bumawi para dito sa Lady Cardinals. Going for the long ball and yep. Right inside. Alonia Hazarena puts it down. And JRU with their 10th point of the third set. Sir Peter Kaiko, Mancom representative mula sa Arellano University. Kanina naka-shades pa yan, ha? Tinanggal, eh. Hindi na daw mainit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Bahangin na lang daw. Bahangin na lang. <laughs> Tama. Oops. Error ang binigay na free point para dito sa Mapua. So, bukas pa rin ang pintuan, ano? 8 to 10. Alonia will take this hit. And Alonia will guide it in. Down the line finish yeah. for Yanya and Alonia. Sa beach volleyball, Martin, napaka-importante ng targeting. Especially kung may plano kayo doon sa tinatarget nyo. Kasi hindi, hindi lang basta nagsaserve ka ng malakas. Kung baga magiging uh, useless yung service mong malakas, kung hindi, kung tinatarget mo yung player na talagang magaling umatake. Again, the libero, Alonia, taking this. Makatangay! Puts it down. Catching the line at the back. Nine serving 11. And Lady Cardinals trying to break into this two point lead barrier that is protected by JRU. Kasi ang gandito na lang sila umaabot. Makatangay. Almost an ace, but recovered right here. Verhino. Alonia. Ooh, sending it long. And Mapua finally breaks through. A solitary point. That's the lead of the Lady Bombers right here. 11 to 10. Medyo crucial tong third, third set natin, uh, Martin. Oh! Service error. Wala dito kay Francis Makatangay. Every time na tutungtong ka sa service line, meron kang 8 seconds na pwede kang huminga, pwede kang mag-isa, pwede kang mag-relax para mas compose ka once na nag-serve ka. So pag nagmamadali ka talaga, either itatapon mo yung bola o i-error mo. Yeah. Pero si Verhino, pinawi agad yung puntos. Yeah, that's why it's important for you to take your time. Lalo na, ganto ko crucial yung mga sitwasyon natin. Reina Verhino with a nice play. And now it's her turn to serve. Hazareno over receives it, sends it to the other side. Here's Makatangay coming up short. Sayang, Martin. Sayang talaga. That was a golden chance, John Vick. Ano? Yeah. Super sayang ng mga ganong pagkakataon. Ang ganda ng setup, ang ganda ng intention kaso, wrong decision. Yeah. Dito, tumay mo ulit ang Mapua Lady Cardinals. Life hasn't been easy lately, so we're here to make your day. Featuring amazing, funny, and heartwarming stories to bring you something bright and sweet and get you dancing through tough times. Simple joys that remind us of the many reasons we can still smile. Cleanse your timeline with Make Your Day. Join us on YouTube and Facebook and share your stories too. Let's spread more awesome, wholesome content out there. Make your day! Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Dito po sa Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. Venue of our Beach Volleyball Competition Season 98. After Season 94, palik ulit aksyon ang Beach Volleyball sa NCAA Mapua JRU. Third set action, 13-11 for JRU. Let's see if Mapua can retaliate right here. That drops in for Reina Verhino. Iba talaga, Martin, pagkakampi mo yung net. Isa sa pinakamahirap na kunin sa beach volleyball ay yung dumidikit sa net. Yung nagro-roll dun sa ibabaw ng net. 
That's Kasi right. yan yung unexpected mo kung malakas ba yan, yung tatalsek, or dun lang mismo sa pwesto niya kung saan mo nilagay yung bola mapupunta. Correct. At dito, ang daming merong kaibigan sa net. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Kanina pa natin nakikita. Ang swerte nila pag kaibigan nila yung net. Ang hirap kaibiganin yan. Laging galit eh. Alonya. Hazareno will try. It's been a while since JRU last scored. Can they end the drought? Not yet! Oh! Miscommunication! And match point for JRU. Ito yung dig! Saktong-sakto naman eh, di ba? Paminsan-minsan mafe-feel mo rin siguro yung pressure na one point away. Just like that on cue. Kaka sabi ko lang yung pressure eh. Excited kang matapos tong laro. But... We are not yet done, folks. Sabi nga nila, oo, take your time or else. Once, one match point saved by Mapua. Sobrang dikit ng game na ito, Martin. Can they continue? Verhino, just putting it in! And we have an extended set number three! Third set is all about composure. Kung sinong pinaka-compose dito. Kung sinong mas magko-control ng game, siya yung makakakuha ng uh, game na ito, Martin. In probably our longest match all day long. Oh! Back-to-back oh! -back aces for Reyna Verhino. So Mapua overtakes 15 to 14. They switch position this time. Kasi nakita na eh, tina-target na yeah. itong si... Uh, Nasa Reno. So, Mapua ngayon ang match point. Good switch. Nasa Reno. Alonya will take! Oh, oh unable oh, to send it across! What a comeback para sa Mapua Ooh. University. Down by four, maybe five earlier. They fought back. They did not give up here in set number three. Alam mo, Martin, dito sa mga itong classic crucial games, kung sino yung naghahabol, siya yung nakakapag-build up ng momentum. Yep. Kung sino yung hinahabol, siya yung nape-pressure. Yeah. Oo nga, ano? At nakita natin kung ano yung pinakita ng mapuwa dito sa ating third set against the JRU. And JRU just unable to capitalize. It was 14 to 12. Mm -hmm. Mapuwa Lady Cardinals ending that with a 4 to nothing run to take their first win of the tournament. So they go up to 1-1. JRU crashes to 0-2, a heartbreaker para dito sa JRU Lady Bombers because they had it already. Mm -hmm. You know, they were at match point 14 to 12, but just couldn't close out the match. Ito po ang ating tali, 21-13, 14-21, and 16-14, a victory for the Mapua Lady Cardinals, and here's our player of the game. Kasama ngayon ni Bailey Sakot. Bailey's. Thank you, Martin. Kasama ko ngayon si Sweet. Makatangay. Sweet, congrats on the win. Grabe yung roller coaster game niyon. At one point, takala namin. Naging two setter siya, pero nakahabol kayo. At one point, takala namin. JRU siya. Pero ito still Mapua for you and your teammates. So, how does it feel? Anong pakiramdam? Kinabahan ba kayo at one point? Siyempre yung kabanan doon, pero kailangan namin i-pick up yung sarili namin tapos labanan yung kaba na yun. Kasi hindi naman mawawala yung ganun sa laro. Pero mas lalamang talaga yung kagustuhan mong maglaro. Kaya pick up yung sarili para makuha mo yung laro mo. Nakausap ko yung teammates mo kanina na, na mention nila that you were overwhelmed yung team kayo na may first game jitters. And down na nawala na yun, masasabi mo ba na tuloy-tuloy na kayo after this? Opo. Oh, 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 big yes ka agad. So, syempre, kanina, what was going through your head yung you led the first set. Second set, parang sila na yung nagli-lead and then nakahabo lang kayo. And, and so forth, back and forth siya. Ano yung nasa utak mo kanina? Siguro kanina na overcome yung ano ko, yung... Kasi ang dami kong errors kanina. So, parang mas nalalamangan yung errors ko kesa dun sa ginagawa ko. Yun nga, yung sabi ko kanina, hanapin ko lang yung sarili ko na parang i-pick up nga po. Tapos, ayun lang, tiwala lang dun sa sarili na kaya namin. Tsaka tiwala dun sa partner. Dun sa last time out nyo, ano yung sinasabi nyo sa isa't isa and your teammates? 
na kaya namin manalo sa game na to. Tapos, tiwala lang and less errors. Okay, tiwala lang, less errors. Yun siguro yung next story nyo at upcoming matches. So, abangan nyo yan. Baka may gusto ka ba, TM? Um, hello po dun sa mga teammates namin na nasa Intramuros. Tapos, yung coach namin na nasa Japan. At saka yung isa pa po namin coach, um, Coach Dimak. Ayan, hello po sa kanil. Sa inyo, sa inyo hello. Thank you, sweet. Congrats on the win. Congrats, Mapua Cardinals. Back to you, Martin and Jonathan. Sweet Makatangay, maraming salamat Bailey is our player of the game from the Mapua Lady Cardinals, yung tandem nila. Ito ni Reyna Verhino finally securing a W in our beach volleyball tournament, John Dick. Ang sarap sa pakiramdam yung pagkapanalo nila. Kasi uh -huh. considering laglag na sila yung momentum nila dun sa second set. Mm -hmm. Tapos lamang na lamang pa ng siguro four points itong uh, JRU nung third set natin. Mm -hmm. But still... Yung comeback nandoon, yung, yung, yung puso nila na gusto nilang manalo dito sa game na ito ay nandoon. Kaya talagang binigay sa kanila, nakita naman natin. That's right. Coming up next, tuloy-tuloy ang action dito sa Sand Court at the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Up next, the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the EAC Lady Generals Arellano looking for their first win, EAC. Looking to keep it rolling and get their second straight W. Now, we'll leave you with the highlights of our previous match between JRU and Mapua. But in just a little bit, magbabalik po agad-agad ang action, live action on GTV live streaming of your NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Competition. Soak up the sun and the fun. NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. Catch it this January 17 to 21, 2.30 p.m. on GTV.
sa mga pandaigdigang isyong nakakaapekto sa bansa. Mula rito sa Beijing, China. Nasa sentro ang GMA Integrated News at isang na namang mahalagang pagtitipon ng World Economic Forum sa Davos, Switzerland. Di pa rin tayo pahuhuli. Abangan ang mga pinakamainit na balita at live updates sa TV, online at radyo. Mula sa GMA Integrated News, ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ang pinakamalaki, pinakapremyado at pinakapinagkakatiwalaan sa larangan ng pagbabalita. Mas pinalakas pa sa pagsasanib puwersa ng GMA News. We are once again saying hello from the Sand Court here at Subic Bay Freeport Zone as we continue our live coverage on GTV of Season 98 of your NCAA. This is day number one of the Beach Volleyball Tournament and after an exciting matchup between the Mapua University Lady Cardinals and the JRU Lady Bombers kung saan nagtagumpay in a thrilling match that went the distance ang Mapua, we now get to our match number nine for the day. It is the Arellano Lady Chiefs taking on the EAC Lady Generals. Once again, we are seen live all over the country on GTV. Mabuhay Pilipinas! Ako po si Anton Rojas, joined once again today by Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. Ang bilis ng araw natin, Anton. <laughs> a lot of competition going on. Alam mo naman kung nasa na competition, nandun tayo, bakbakan, napakaganda ng mga inilalaro na ating teams. And of course, this is just day one. Yep, day number one, match number nine, a whole lot of volleyball to be played. We've got the women's action here, the men's action behind us, and like you said, we're just getting started. Let's take a look at our team standings right now para malaman natin kung saan ba nakapuesto itong dalawang kupunan na ito. Of course, itong Arellano University looks to bounce back after losing their first match against Sunbury University. EAC making an early statement in their victory against JRU this morning. Very impressive, the EAC Lady Generals. Ganda ng uh, sand coverage nila all over the floor. Nandiyan sila, they're covering on defense. And they translate it into easier points dahil yung mga one-two balls yun ako nagko-convert din. So as we said earlier, this is the first of five straight match days na mapapanood natin dito sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. A whole lot of beach volleyball to be played. Nakikita na natin some of the favorites and of course uh, some of the players in terms of their personalities on the on the sand because uh, nakikita natin the communication battling the elements it's mm -hmm. all on display at saka gusto ko yung pinag-uusapan nyo kayo ni Seska kailangan maghanap tayo ng mga bagong awards for oh, all nice. these pairings ang ganda ng <laughs> ang ganda kasi ibang iba from the indoor volleyball na talagang uh, maraming players uh, maraming uh, variables to be considered but the biggest variable here of course is the elements you're playing on sand you have the sun pero ang ganda ng uh, weather natin ngayon and uh, oh, the wind Kaya yun ako ini-stress over, over time na talagang pagka uh, nahahangin na ng bola, iba yung takbo ng palo. This is one of the youngest teams, Coach Hammer, in the tournament. Itong tandem ni Marion Le Angelique Padillon and of course itong si Kean Ceballos. Very young squad, Ceballos is 20 years old, 19 years old namang si Padillon. They lost to San Beda in their first match and... You know, let's try to get their mindset, their thoughts coming into this match against EAC. Mix Venegas has this report on the Arellano Lady Chiefs. Anton and Coach Hammer, from uh, coming from a loss against the defending champions earlier, the Lady Chiefs are here to prove that they just had a bad start and now ready to bounce back this afternoon. I asked the rookie, Marian Padillon, about the improvement she wants to see this afternoon. Sabi niya sa akin, she wants to have an improved defense from the services of the opponents. Dahil ito nga daw nagkulang sa kanila kanina. Now, just to give you a fun fact about this rookie, Mo Ming Dao, ang tawag ng teammates niya sa kanya dahil mukha daw siyang pusa. And we all know the myth about Lucky Cats and having had experience to play indoor volleyball as a utility spiker in her previous leagues, uh, the team is really hoping na ito na ang magiging swerte para sa Lady Chiefs ngayong hapon. At mamaya, aabangan natin yan. Balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Mix. So, paano yung Lucky Cats? Yung nga, yung nga. Okay, I, I don't want to no, turn no, ourselves no. into a meme right now, Coach Hammer. Pero 12 points ang ginawa nitong si Mo Ming, the rookie from from Ilocos Sur. Yeah, maganda ang kanilang pinakita. Mm -hmm. Yun nga lang, San Beda. Mas they maganda. are the defending back-to-back -back champions. Hindi biro yun, Coach uh, Hammer. But uh, again, Arellana has a very young squad. And most of our, uh, most of our competing players are very young. Mostly mm -hmm. first-year, second-year players. Uh, getting their uh, chop sweat dito sa ating uh, 
beach volleyball tournament. Now, in contrast to that, veterano naman yung isa sa mga pambato ng EAC Lady Generals, Katrin Almazan, the 23-year-old from Nueva Ecija, fired 10 points, including two aces in their victory against JRU. The rookie, Mona Banyares, 20 years old from Intramuros, Manila, naka-apat na aces naman siya. Ayan siya ngayon nahilang natin na best player of the game in their first win today. And uh, very, uh, maganda yung team plan nitong dalawang players na to. Kasi itong si Banyares plays from the backside. Mm -hmm. Ito naman si Almazan likes to attack from the flank. So, We'll see how they would uh, pan out in this ball game. We know what Kat Almazan is all about. Third leading scorer in indoor volleyball nung NCAA season 97. But we don't know much about Mona Banyares. Kaya naman, Julia Ong has a little something-something for us from the sand about this rookie, Banyares. Thank you, Anton. Julie, the EAC Lady General showed 100% confidence after dominating their first game against the JRU Lady Bombers. Player of the game at first-timer daw dito sa beach volleyball, Mona Banyares told me na mahirap daw pala talaga ang beach volleyball compared sa indoor volleyball. Pero para sa kanya daw, parehas lang ang kasangkapan upang may uwi ang panalo. Ito daw ay consistency and teamwork. Kaya naman, Anton and Coach Hammer, abangan pa natin ang gigil upang magtuloy-tuloy ang kanilang good start as they are inspired to bring the championship to their side just like their men's beach volleyball team who are the defending champions in this tournament. Ayun na muna, balik sa inyo. Tama, pinaalala ni Julia sa atin, back-to-back -back champions sa men's ang EAC Generals. Pero sinabi Sabi nga ni Julia, consistency, teamwork, ano pa ang idadagdag mo doon? Communication, of course. Communication is very vital, lalong-lalo na dadalawa lang sila naglalaro. Ang kadalasan nag-dedictate kung sino ang panalo o talo dito sa beach volleyball is miscommunication on reception. Yan ang aantabayan na natin, not only for EAC but for both squads and all competing teams. Well, I guess the two teams are ready. EAC taking on Arellano. Hungry are the Lady Chiefs to get a victory. Ang EAC naman, they want to get their second win today. This is day number one, match number nine of the NCAA Beach Volleyball Tournament live on GTV. Let's turn it over right now to our game announcer para makilala ang ating mga manlalaro. Magandang hapon mga kapuso mula sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Inaandog po namin sa inyo ang NCAA Season 98 Achieve Greatness Every Day Beach Volleyball Competition na inyong napapanood ng live sa GTV at may live streaming pa sa lahat ng social media pages ng NCAA at GMA Sports PH. Let's introduce our officials for this match. Our first referee is Choi Bukid. Second referee is Buds Kambay. And now let's meet the players first for Arellano University. Number one, Marion Padillon. And number two, Harem Sepalios. Their opponents across the court, Emilio Aguinaldo College. Number one, Kat Almazan. And number two, Ina Banyares. It is the Lady Chiefs versus the Lady Generals. Good luck to both teams. This is match number nine in day number one of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. Maraming salamat mga kapuso. Sa inyong pagtutok ngayon, Anton Ross alongside Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. EAC 1-0, and oh, putting that unbeaten slate on the line against Arellano. Very Arellano dangerous University. team featuring, of course, this young lady right here, Kean Sepalios, making her debut for Arellano here in the NCAA. 
error right away on the service for AU. Not the way you want to start uh -huh. being a team True. that dropped its first match. A very exciting one against Sanbeda. Score was 21-15, 21-19. The Lady Chiefs actually had an opportunity to steal and that they, second they, set they away. Led, nga lang. They oh, led by yeah. maybe five points on each of those sets. Oh, oh bago nagpakawala uh, ng 6 to nothing run yung San Beda. I fondly remember 13 to 8 was mm -hmm. the score in favor of Arellano. And then San Beda just woke up. Both times, both times, like 13 8. Eh. Like a sleeping giant. Mm -hmm. Almazan. Oh, nga, eh, ayan na. Pababa na yung araw. At guns yes. out. So it's, uh, it's right straight at us right now. <laughs> okay. Kat Almazan. Great communication with Mona Banyares. There's Kat. She wants to get it back. Padillon. Too much spice on that spike. Mm hmm. Pala kasi, and that's one adjustment talaga ng mga inter players. The uh, variety of hits. Parang kailangan i-taper down mo yung force ng pagpalo mo sa bola. Eh, pagka indoor, kailangan talaga kargahan mo, lalo na pag may mga blockers. Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, <my laughs> it's plus points when you see these ladies enjoying the match. As we see, Almazan, that's right. On the line, I mean, puntos yan. <laughs> Alam mo, yun lang naman ang mga gusto ng coaches, ng parents that you, you enjoy, you give your best, and regardless, they love you. Yun lang naman kasimple yan. Kaya uh, the fans will enjoy players who enjoy the way that they play. Meanwhile, Padillon with a drop shot. Is five for EAC. As EAC two takes an early 5-2 to two lead. I like your hat, huh? I like you, that. You, you know, uh, we have to bring out the bucket hat, the bucket when, it's hat get, when it gets uh, hotter here at the venue. Bagay na bagay sa sailing shoes, man. Samantala, drop shot. Lapit natin sa yacht club. Ceballos. Look at Ceballos hit the sand. Almazan. Nakaka-adjust na rin sila, Anton, eh. Kasi with this morning schemes, nakita natin medyo mabigat pa yung paan ng mga players. I mean, I observed it with Yanya Nalonya kanina. That she she was very light on her feet the way that she was moving around the sand. Some people are heavy footed, but when they hit the sand, they get Service light on their feet all of a sudden. You have to, you have to. Generals. Seven to two is our tally. Oh, that's straight to the net right there for Banyares. Another service error for them. Well, when you, you build an early lead like EAC did, you can't relax. Baal mag relax. Di po eding papetik petik kasan. There Even you in go. A, a venue like this, you, you could hear Almazan sabi yung paluin mo. Ay, ay, ganda kasi ng pag setup niya eh. I mean, if you set the ball up as well as that and you do not get the point, man. You will hear it <laughs> tonight <laughs> at your hotel room. <laughs> Almazan, ganda ng setup. A lot of space from the spiker and the net. Oh, wrong angle on that hit for Ceballos. She's wearing tank tops at this time. We're tired, we're tired. tan. I think you had a long nap, my friend. Yes, I did. <laughs> you actually did. You're daydreaming about uh, siesta in here in Subic. Daydreaming yeah, as we yeah, speak. You know, 9 yeah, to 4 yeah. is our well, tally. When, when, when you're here, you're like in Kokomo. <laughs> Tommy Bahamo. <laughs> there you go. Ceballos. It's it's the same thing, Antonio. When you're playing in, so on the, the indoor sports, competition and in the in beach competition, it's it's the first ball. The moment that you're able to control and pop up that first ball, it's better for your offense. Mas magandang itatak po niyo. Almazan puts the ball in the air. There's the hit. 
Ceballos touched it first. Padillon decided not to chase it anymore. Alam mo, Anton, I'll, I'll just circle back. We mm -hmm. had Bayatan in one of our conversations right. in Game On. That beach volleyball is really growing. And nakakatawa dahil now, the NCA is given an opportunity with, of course, GMA synergy na where we're showing and showcasing the talent that we have in beach volleyball. And Kat Almazan surely is a player to watch out for here in the tournament. We'll take a break. Now, unang EAC contra Sarellano, 11 to 5. You're watching day number one of NCAA season 98 beach volleyball. Bilis magbago ang mundo at ang daming naiisip ng tao. Hatid ng Next Now ang latest sa science and technology. Maging updated sa groundbreaking inventions. Hello there. At mga makabagong solusyon sa pang-araw-araw nating pamumuhay. Actually creates a huge impact. Tunghaya ng episodes online dahil sa GMA News and Public Affairs Digital. We show Time check, 4.46. The sun is about to come down, setting on what has been a beautiful day number one yep. here in NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. And not only a beautiful day, it's a beautiful place. Oh, yeah. Kanda dito, Anton. I mean, the, the, uh, the SBME has been pushing sports tourism, and this is one of the showcase pieces that they have. The uh, beach volleyball courts, we, they have one here. And then at, behind us, there's the other the cage. Ganda eh. Ganda ng uh, laruan dito. They have a great basketball court. Ganda ng community. Kanina, one of our VIPs, si attorney John Aquino, he said that Subic is already the triathlon center mm -hmm. of the Philippines. True. Up That's next nice. is for Subic to become the center for beach volleyball in the That's Philippines as well. Right. And it would be very nice to go back here after this uh, tournament. Kasi... Ang ganda ng avenue to for student athletes. And even in the provinces, madaling maghanap ng sand spaces. Kasi island, island country tayo. So, yeah. madaling maglaro ng beach volleyball. You just need a ball and some of your friends. And I mean, it serves as a double purpose. Nakikita natin yung buong kupunan ng JRU. Uh, they have a beach volleyball team, but their indoor volleyball team had practice team earlier. Team building yan. Team building yan. Malaman. They have a nice oval, which uh, I think our friend Remy Martin, Martin Rem Javier Remy is Field. going to run around. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be sprinting tomorrow morning. <laughs> wow. I hope you don't have a parachute no, behind your no, back. No, okay. no, I'm glad you kept that at home. Uh -huh. 12 to 8 is our tally. I mean, tips of the trade, huh? <laughs> Almazan. Was a scout A lot of space to operate. Almazan gets go. it in the air. One more opportunity. Almazan puts it away. Mm -hmm. it and Kat Almazan score. puts EAC on top 13 to 8. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more beach volleyball action from right here at the sand court at Subic Bay Freeport Zone. COVID 19 vaccine say. What is climate change? Because information is crucial, we're giving you all the facts that you need. Anong mga lugar sa Pilipinas ang COVID-free? Introducing Me To Me, a weekly explainer series from GMA News and Public Affairs. Here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know. Watch Me To Know, available on GMA News Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Looking for news and latest information? Yung pala almost tournament format. Same as the indoor tournament, yep. except Single. for the finals. Single round robin, top two seeds after the elimination will enjoy a twice to beat advantage. But in the finals, it's one and done. Ani term ni Seska kanina? It was a brutal term. No. Bloodbath. Bloodbath. <laughs> It's a bloodbath. I mean, there are so many ways to describe it. Win or go home, do or die. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Marang uh, Chong Lee at saka si uh, Van Damme yun. It's a blood sport. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I don't know if you heard her, but like, she, she finally gave us a term for you, you, oh, the Cobra. Kotongan? Konyatan? Kalto. Kalto. Kotong. <laughs> 
Wala, wala bang paltok term dyan? Wala. <laughs> iba represent. Kasi yung, iba represent kasi yung yun. nangyayari sa paltok Ay, eh. Iba doon, iba doon. <laughs> Samantala, Almazan, ayan na. Kinaltokan eh. There's the hit. Banyares. Ay, contact pa, hinabol. Pumunta na sa outside. Uh, Cheska Rakrakin was also explaining this now. If she's not sure, she's gonna go for it. But that's just her. It's different for different players. Mm -hmm. Oh, your wish is my command. Hindi rin naman yun tayo yung mics na sa net. Rinig na rinig natin yung conversation between teammates. Tsaka ano eh, alam mo yun, pag maganda yung pag-setup, nanggigigil ka eh, na dapat exactly. paluin talaga ng teammate oh, mo yan. I mean, kahit saan yan eh. Be it, be it volleyball, be it football, be it basketball. Pag binigyan ka ng magandang uh, spot ng kakampi mo, kailangan ni reward mo eh. Almazan, piling up the points. She's already got five points here in this match. Too much spice on that spike, though, para kay Padillon. Malakas tong EAC na to. Malakas tong team na to. I mean, they are in sync. I mean, those are my early contenders, of course, in Beda, EAC, Perps. About Dapol kanina. Perps are looking good, 2-0 right now. First team to get that 2-0 record. EAC wanting to join them. So yeah, I agree with you. Sanbeda, Perps, and EAC. Ikaw, ha? Naunahan mo kami ni Martin magpredict, ha? <laughs> Analyst. Analyst ng game only. <laughs> na, Naisahan mo kami, ha? No, I mean, watching Early predictions, it, watching ha? Kasi, uh, you, uh, you gotta give it to the defending champions. And they have the most veteran girl playing today. In... Uh, Shao Paras, di ba? Talagang uh, laking advantage siya na kasama siya doon sa huling dalawang champion squads. You know, one team I want to see in action also is San Sebastian. Oh, yeah. Coach Roger Goreab is here. And, you, you know, they, they, ha they have that they rich had history. They the first game, no? Yeah, first they had the very game. first match. Panalo sila against uh, then, LBU. Pahinga na the whole time, no? Uh-huh. They actually won that match. Um, it went the distance, Coach mm -hmm. Hammer. Yeah, so that was the very first match. The matches here start at 7.30 a.m., so the set scoring for that match was 21-12, 21-19, 15-12. So imagine the endurance that these ladies need to have. Because if you're not playing the whole day, pa rin, it eats up on your energy. Waiting, the waiting game, the competition, especially when you're playing three games. And EAC takes set number one, 21-10. And EAC cruises. To a set number one victory over the Arellano University Lady Chiefs. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we will have set number two of this matchup. Day number one of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament right here on GTV. Watch Jamie using public affairs. The Digital Newscast, where you can find the biggest stories of the week. In-depth documentaries on issues, special reports, and analysis on local and global affairs. Mukhang hindi naman seryoso si Presidente na terminate yung MBFA. Na wala tayong asahan sa Western Pharmaceuticals kasi nabili na yun eh. That matter? The women's volleyball on the sand is happening. We also have the men's beach volleyball tournament ongoing and an update with us is uh, Migs Venegas. Let's go to Migs right now. Anton and Coach Hammer, I'm currently here at the side court and just to give you an update regarding the men's division of beach volleyball tournament, the EAC Generals won against the LPU Pirates with two straight sets. Playing on the side of EAC Generals, which is Ralph Pitogo, Joshua Ramelo against Sander Deon and Virgil Goloso of LPU Pirates. Hindi daw naging madali ang laro nila kanina dahil sa mga palitang atake nila. Pero marami pa tayong dapat abangan sa men's division, pero yan muna sa ngayon. Balik sa inyo, gentlemen. Wow, so mas mabilis yung pacing ha? Nanood ako na isang laro eh. Nanood ako na isang laro when Gio and Seska was here. Okay. Grabe mo. Grabe yung palo. Grabe! Dumudungaw sa net eh. 
and we will be showcasing the finals of the men's competition of course during the final day of the tournament this coming saturday january 21 so do stay tuned for that finals is slated to be at uh, 3 p.m on saturday but we still got a long way to go a lot of volleyball to watch a lot of volleyball to cover and players to discover and rediscover here in the tournament mm -hmm. it's a long grind Man, um, players always say you got to embrace the grind. Yep. And, and that's how you find out whether a player is built different. May mga player na gusto, yung mga nananalo, yung gustong gusto. Ano lang kasi simple. Words of wisdom from our resident strength and conditioning coach, Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. It's mahirap yan, Antonio. Parang if you think about it, it, this is a similar to a bubble setup. You're away from your family. You don't have training time. All the adjustments you can do is through film. You can do your strength and conditioning. You can do your bands, you can do your But at the end of the day, game speed is the competition day. So you need to conserve your energy. And this is where you're going to get out of through the preparation phase. Oh, too much on that hit for Mona Banyares. Giving away Arellano's first point. Gifting Arellano's first point, I should say. Here in set number two, EAC with a dominant opening set, taking it 21 to 10. At nakabawi agad si Banyares, Coach Hammer. And there you go, that's how you make up. Bawi ka lang next play. So there you go. Banyares, quick to respond. Ceballos, not over. And our first changeover, the score is six for EAC, one for Arellano. So changeovers happen in beach volleyball every after seven points scored combined by both squads. Oh, Uy. wow, Almazan. Almazan with a service ace, making it 7-1. Probably the and luckiest service ace oh. I've seen today. Okay yung magaling, pero pag yung magaling, may halo pang swerte. Hirap talunin. Let's serve. Ayan! Natutuwa ako sa mga usap-usapan dyan sa net, eh. There you go. Okay, I mean, we should add most intense tandem to our list of most, unofficial awards that we're going to be animated, giving out. Animated tandem. It's got to be Almazan <laughs> and Banyares so far. Early candidates, my friend. But of course, while the standings are changing, the ugali is changing in the world. Oh, it's so hard. Almazan, my friend. He's going to go Drop ball. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it again, said Almazan. Oh, yeah! Hey. Kat Almazan! Pahong pahu yung palo! This is the definition of hard work right there. Wanting it so bad. And Almazan giving EAC a 9-1 to lead as we take this break. Gusto na lang daw po niyang umuwi na doon na lang daw po siya kamatay sa Pilipinas. Empowered by young producers and innovative mobile journalists. Catch us at Jimmy News and Public Affairs TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube channels. Stand with us, stand for truth. Hi, surprise guests! Long. Surprise mm -hmm. guest, ikaw ba ay into politics din? Mm -hmm. Isa ka bang artista, singer, vlogger? Amazing setup job to Mona Banyares, Ceballos, saving it. So the rally continued. Almazan got the nice setup. You thought she was gonna go for a strong approach, but a simple drop shot got There's the job done. At may kasunod pang service ace, pangalawa dito sa set na ito para kay Catherine Almazan. Playing like a well-oiled machine, the squad of EAC. Okay, a glimpse of wit mm -hmm. and intellect oh. on the sand para dito sa Arellano. Yeah, love tap lang yun, love tap. <laughs> you do know love tap has different meanings in different sports. Yep. 
Okay, since this is a, a, a non-contact, yeah. right? Because you yeah. can't make contact with the other players, although it's sometimes they do. It's not On the line for Patillon, back-to-back -back points now for Arellano. There you go. Arellano trying to start a run here, having back-to-back -back points. Oh, great read by Almazan telling Banyares out. Out, out, out. So if, you, if you look at it, the size of the sandbar that we're playing in is relatively, let's say, what two thirds lang siguro to, or less than two thirds of a regular volleyball court. Banyares. I like how you call it sandbar, though. Di ba pag kami na gilid ng gilid ng dagat, tas nakalutang sandbar, tas dun madalas na go volleyball. Pag kama mga pelikula. Pag ano eh? Pag Instagram yung mga naiisip mo eh. For a guy who's not active on social media. Sandbar has a different meaning in my mind. In your mind. Oh. Padillon with a drop shot. But a huge mountain to climb. A strong current to swim against. That is what Arellano is facing right now. Keep on swimming. Mm -hmm. well, they are just cruising. They are cruising Cruise like control. a sports car on a freeway on Sunday morning. Yep. But we did it on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Drop shot good for Patillon. Yeah, we Five did it on a Monday because we came here on a Monday. It's a Tuesday now. On a Tuesday. Playing it on a Tuesday. I mean, whole day of uh, beach volleyball competition. So different types of um, humidity. Early in the morning, it's pretty cool. Later in the afternoon, like now, it's cool. But the midday competition, scorching hot. Even the sand would be scorching hot. New look, Catherine Almazan. With that drop shot. Again, one of the deadliest scorers in indoor volleyball, yeah, making her presence felt yeah, here yeah. on the sand. We'll take another break. Now, we're going to play the EEC contra Sarayano 15 to 6. Artista? Pwede. Politico? No. Athlete? Yes. Surprise guest, is that you, Kailin? Yes. Wow, to mama ako ye. Hi, Pai. Igat, grave ka. Congratulations on your new program. Ati B. EEC, looking good as they have this 15 to 6 advantage against the Arellano Lady mm -hmm. Chiefs. Looking good as they should. Feeling good. Yep. I don't think those were the lyrics, yep. but I don't I care. Know. We just plug it in <laughs> as we go along. Perpetual 2 and 0. Oh, sila po nanguna ngayon sa team standing. So that is what EAC is on the verge of duplicating. The <laughs> record ng Perpetual. 15 to 6. You can see that even though they have this comfortable advantage, grabe pa rin yung usap-usapan ni Almazan at Mona Banyares on their side of the sand court. And I can hear the wind again, the gust of wind. Can you paint all the colors? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> So, dapat dito bawas gigil na for EAC. For them to be able to control the tempo of this game. They're comfortably ahead. Pero hindi ka pwede mag-relax eh. Oh, wow! Oh! 
You know what? Para kay Nakat, para kay Namona, sasabihin ko, good yun! Good! <laughs> but of course, yeah, tumama, tumama the, the letter of the law uh, is, is uh, way beyond us. Karagadong palo. Patilyon. Oh, good drop shot. Patilyon drops it in. I mean, Arendiano has their moments, but, you know, just few and far between EAC and Oh, Almasan and uh, Badiar is a little bit confused. We're going to the wrong bench, we'll take a break. EAC is still on top by six. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Let's take a look at this lucky break. For Kean Ceballos. It's not even lucky, talaga. To suck yung serve. Okay. Kumama na sa floor. Oh, nakita mo yung replay. Good or not? Kumama na sila pag bago mga ipop up eh. <laughs> I thought it's different in the oh, sand. Point talaga. Dumiin na yung, dumalbog na yung ball eh. <laughs> Another point for the lady. Doon ka sa SBMA Authority magreklamo. Doon ka. Doon ka maglakad ka doon sa likod. Okay, let's take a look at this. Off-speed hit over... The EEC girls. Drop shot para kay Banyares. There you go. And Banyares scores for EEC. Medyo matagal silang hindi naka-score dun, ha? 3-0 run yun. 11 for the Lady Chiefs. 17 to 11 is our tally. The EEC Lady Generals smelling their second straight win today. You know, the thing is, Perpetual actually still has a match. So once we introduce the team standings tomorrow for day number two, they there's a be. very good opportunity mm, in the number with a one zero With a 3-0 state. But we'll see. JRU Kalabanila uh, Mamaya. Another team that is uh, playing three matches today, pero ang pinagkaiba nila is uh, hindi pa nananalo yung Lady Bombers. Almazan. Banyares. Almazan with a power spike. Nice bowie. I agree with that. Malaking check. Almazan has been a beast on the sand. Ceballos. Almazan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll take the one point. Okay. Take the point. Banyanes was ready to go for it, but... You know, Almasan... <laughs> just serving that one up. Almasan will give it back. This time, she set it up right. She set it up right and good. To get EAC match points. Catherine Almazan serving that one up nicely for Mona Banyares. On point mga service ng EAC this game. Mm. Oh, what a finish! Palugin mo ulit. Diyan ang sinigaw ni Catherine Almazan. At tinapos na ni Mona Banyares ang laro. Another dominant victory for the EAC Lady Generals, taking set number two, 21 to 12. So EAC, with this win, ties Perpetual 2 and 0 right now in the team standings. So statement win for the Lady Generals, controlling the game from start to finish. And running like a well-oiled machine, despite giving up a three quick points done when the score was 16 to 8. But what about Catherine Almazan, man? I mean, two aces in set number two. 
12 points all in all. The chemistry between her and Mona Banyares just just splendid here in day number one, partner. Yep. Kaya, siya, ang napili natin, best player of the game. Mamaya, babalikan natin siya yep. with Jules. We will take a break and we'll be back for that interview. Stay with us right here on GTV. Soak up the sun and the fun. NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. Catch it this January 17 to 21, 2.30 p.m. On GTV. Sa mga pandahigdigang isyong nakakaapekto sa bansa. Mula rito sa Beijing, China. Nasa sentro ang GMA Integrated News. At isa na namang mahalagang pagtitipon ng World Economic Forum sa Davos, Switzerland. Di pa rin tayo pahuhuli. Abangan ang mga pinakamainit na balita at live updates sa TV, online at radyo. Mula sa GMA Integrated News, ang news authority ng Filipino. Ang pinakamalaki, pinakapremyado at pinakapinagkakatiwalaan sa larangan ng pagbabalita. Mas pinalakas pa sa pagsasanib puwersa ng GMA News, GMA Regional TV, GMA News Online at DZBB. Tulad ng sitwasyon natin sa China, may overlap. Narito po kami ng aking team. Halos bewang na yung bahagi. Ito yung bahagi ng pader na bumigay. Nangunguna sa pagbabalita. Halos 44,000 na sako ng asukal. Maasahan. Saan man, kailan man. Tatlo hanggang apat na PDL ang namamatay. Buong busong naglilingkod sa Pilipinas. Wow. GMA Integrated News. Ang News Authority ng Filipino. Ito ang inyong GMA Integrated News. They're back to rule the court. Get ready to get served. It's gonna be an intense season. Mga kapuso, nagtagumpay ang EAC Lady Generals kontra sa Arellano Lady Chiefs. It's actually a rival rematchup because uh, these two schools went into the NCAA at the same time back in 2009. Yep. Final score, of course, 21-10, 21-12. Another stellar performance by the tandem of Mona Banyares and Catherine Almazan. A very entertaining game, and uh, we've been hearing the sights. We've seen the sights, but now we hear the sounds of the game. We see the communication of both squads. Mas na naig nga lang ang takbo ng inilaro dito ng EAC. And of course, Kat Almazan, who was number three in scoring pagdating sa indoor volleyball, could be on her way to being one of the top scorers here in beach volleyball, is our player of the match. And she is standing right next to Julia Ong on the sand. Yes, Anton and Coach Hamrick, kasama ko nga ngayon ang isa sa membro ng dominating tandem natin this season in 98 dito sa beach volleyball so far, Catherine Almazan. Catherine, congrats. First of all, congrats sa'yo. Um, para sa unang talang mo, uh, para sa'yo, ano kaya yung key factor na meron ang tandem nyo kung bakit ganyan, two consecutive wins ang naibigay nyo? Uh, siguro po sa amin, ano, napapansin naman po halos siguro lahat na sobrang ingay namin maglaro. Mm -hmm. So, doon po kami nakakuha ng confidence namin na uh, pumunta sa puntas kahit magkakamali kami. Hindi namin uh, iniisip yung pagkakamali namin. Kitang-kita rin talaga namin yung gigil nyo para maipanalo to. Pangalawang talong is, ano yung um, lessons or adjustments pa na dadalhin nyo sa next games nyo? Uh, siguro po yung uh, ano, sa opensa pa po namin, parang uh, control pa po, hindi mm -hmm. pa po kami nasasatisfy sa ginagalaw po namin, parang push pa po ng push. Um, Catherine, alam rin namin na ikaw ay third na best scoring sa indoor volleyball. Ano yung lessons learned na dadalhin mo dahil papasok na tayo sa indoor volleyball season? Uh, siguro po yung lesson uh, na may dadalo ko sa indoor, yung pagiging kumpiyansa sa sarili. Kahit na nagkakamali ka, kailangan maging kumpiyansa ka. Kumpiyansa, consistency at teamwork talaga ang nagpanalo sa inyo. Um, may mga gusto ka bang batiin? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, binabati ko po yung uh, ESC community, community, mga teammates ko dyan sa EAC. Um, yung family ko po sa Nueva Ecija, si ate, ate Dina, ate Shane, kuya ko, and yung kapatid kong bunso, si Skyly po. Again, congratulations, Catherine. More to come. Thank you po. Thank you. Now, back to the panel. So, communication. 
what you mentioned sa ating pre-game discussion, yun ang uh, gusto mo makita. Yun ang yun pinakita ni Banyares at ni Almazan. Kahit sinong coach yun to. Dahil if you communicate, especially on a tandem sport, dalawa lang yan eh, magandang itatakbo nyo. But if you fail to communicate, a lot of turnovers will happen, a lot of unforced errors, and you would be gifting wins to your opponents. So part of our unofficial awards, Coach Hammer, most animated team, best in communication, yes. nauna ngayon ang EAC, Mar Lady Mar Generals. Marami silang checkmark sa boto ko. Marami silang checkmark. <laughs> but of course, it takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. Kat Almazan did her job, was communicating, was leading, piled up the points, but the newcomer, Mona Banyares, grabe rin yung kanyang ready, pinakita ready dito play. sa laban na to. Ready to play and uh, ready to detonate. It's an indoor competition, but of course, they want to take care of business first here in the Sandpits. And I think uh, Mix Venegas is ready to speak with Mona Banyares. They are standing alongside each other right now. Let's go to them. Gentlemen, kasama ko nga ngayon ang katandem ni Kat Almazan sa loob ng court kanina. First of all, congratulations for winning this game. Definitely a win for the whole EAC community dahil kanina nanalo rin sa men's volleyball ang EAC Generals. So, kamusta naman ang feeling na uh, both wins for the EAC Generals? Siyempre, sobrang saya po kasi ano, parang ngayon na lang po ulit. Ngayon lang po ako nakalaro ng beach volley tapos nanalo pa po parehas. Tama ka dyan. And from what I've heard, naglalaro ka na rin naman ng indoor volleyball, di ba? So, yes, since this is your first year here in the beach volleyball, what are the learnings na na-apply mo dito sa beach volleyball? Kasi bago ka pa lang dito eh. Ayun nga, ano, yung tinuro po sa akin ni Coach na ano, magtiwala sa sarili. And ano, parang kung ano yung naiisip ko, isa ano, ilabas ko lang ng, ilabas ko lang ng, ilabas ko lang sa bibig ko. Yun po. Tama dyan. Trust yourself and of course, trust your teammate. Opo. And speaking of trusting your teammate, Share mo naman sa amin, ano yung secret ng tandem nyo ng ate Kat mo? Kasi grabe yung chemistry na binigay nyo sa loob ng court. Yan po, yan sabi din po ni Coach, ano, patatagin po namin yung communication and coordination namin ni ate Kat. Doon po kasi magkakaroon ng ano, ng... Actually, sobrang ganda. If you watch, if you will rewatch yung match talaga ng EAC ngayon, iba, iba talaga yung tandem, iba yung chemistry. It's not just like you're playing the sports like... Uh, very important talaga yung cooperation and teamwork at naipakita niyo yun kanina. So, eto naman, what are you looking forward naman sa ibang uh, team, sa mga ibang games nyo for the rest of the week? Ano po, yung laro po namin sana maging mas ano po, consistent and kung mas may i-improve pa yun po, sana po mas ma-improve pa. Of course, there's there's always a lot uh, a lot to improve every game naman and I'm sure na you've got a long way and we can't wait to sh to, to see syempre yung performance nyo in the, your next coming game. So, may gusto ka bang batiin? Your family, your friends? Yep. Yeah, Binabati ko po yung ano, yung mga katim ko po ulit sa EAC and yung mga coaches po dyan, hello po. And lalong-lalo na po si Rhea at si Jean. Laba well, guys. <laughs> Tapos yung pamilya ko po ulit sa Cavite, hello po sa inyo dyan. Okay, once again, congratulations for the EAC Generals. Uh, super can't believe na ang ganda rin ng, talaga ng performance. And may, di ba wala pa kayong talo? Wala pa. Wala pa. So, undefeated pa rin ang EAC Generals and it's something that you guys need to watch out for. And that's all for the EAC Generals. Balik sa inyo, gentlemen. Yep, tama yun, Mix. Uh, magkasama ngayon mm -hmm. sa tuktok ng team standings ang... Uh, what are you doing? Tuktok ng standings. <laughs> tuktok ng standings. Okay, perpetual and diba? easy. Right there, dun nga sa, sa tuktok ng tuk -tuk eh. team standings. Ay, magkatabi. So, okay. Tuktok ng standings. Uh, Hammer, Coach Hammer's got jokes oh, uh, yeah, this yeah. afternoon. I, I think... Uh, We're anything any different. <laughs> workation. Yeah, that's a workation tayo, so we should be Ito yung sinasabi natin, exactly. Coach Hammer. Exactly. This is what we were saying. Perpetual and EAC at the top. <laughs> Nagulat ka doon. And of course, San Sebastian will be on deck right now facing the College of St. Benil Blazers. They're also 1 and 0 as well as San Beda. Ladies Bikers, tabi-tabi naman ang Letran, CSB, and Mapua with 1 and 1. And Aliano Jerry and LPU still looking for their first win in beach volleyball season 98. So this is after nine matches kasi meron po tayong labing dalawang laban ngayong araw. This is for the Women's Beach Volleyball Tournament. As we have been explaining all throughout the coverage today, from the morning up to right now in the afternoon, simultaneously, ginaganap din po ang Men's Beach Volleyball Tournament. And um, I think we're going to see the team standings as well. Yes, Yon, thank you so much for showing to us right now the men's beach volleyball team standings. Perpetual, no? 2-0. Uh -huh. 2-0, just like their lady counterparts. San Sebastian with 1-0. The Benil Blazers at 1-0. EAC Mapua Letran and Arellano all tied at 1-1. LPU, JRU and San Beda, 0 
and two. I'm sure uh, yung ating kasama, idol John Vic de Guzman, multiple time champion and MVP dito sa NCAA Beach Volleyball. Uh, masaya dahil uh, panalo ang kanyang Benil Glazers. Siyempre, laging uh, mas masaya pag panalo. And uh, I think the uh, pinakapanalo is uh, all of the sports fans, Definitely. all of the volleyball fans, because uh, we we're starting the year 2023 very early. Bagong paghahandog ng GMA sa lahat ng mga NCAA and sports fans. This has never been done before. The most extensive beach volleyball coverage in league history. At pampagana pa lang yan ng 2023 dahil napakaraming mga activities niyan. Especially we're starting off with beach volleyball. Next is indoor volleyball. Yep. Juniors basketball is also on deck ngayon. So, the sports is back. The NCAA is really back in full swing. And no better way to start off the brand new year, 2023. Getting right to it and showcasing some of the best in collegiate sports sa pamamagitan ng NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball. We had our opening ceremony earlier today. Inspirational messages, of course, from our VIPs. We saw all the teams. I mean... Are you getting a little bit nostalgic about, you know, when you were parading opening well, day ceremony, of course, Coach Hammer? Uh, I enjoy the competition more when the athletes are in the flow of the game. Yung grind it out time na, go time. That's the best. This is just the, um, an introduction to the competition and we always enjoy that. Yeah, and we enjoy seeing uh, our student athletes very happy. At siyempre, kasama pa rin natin dito as always ang ating mga miyembro ng NCA Management Committee. Oh, oh matching hats. Matching style. Matching hats. Uh, Sir Penn, Sir Stephen Fernandez is here, the Benilde Sports Director. Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo, the rock star, Sir Paul Supan, and of course, the boss. Sir Oba, mm -hmm. Oliver Victor B. Amoroso with us today, first Vice President for GMA Network and the head of GMA Regional TV, GMA Synergy, and GMA News. Everybody... They're all here, and the chairman, of course, Sir Frank Goosey, because uh, Perpetual is the host of our beach volleyball tournament. Okay. Attorney John Aquino, Coach Hammer, mm -hmm. had a very inspirational message. Nakaka-relate daw siya sa Achieve Greatness Every Day. For him, it's whatever you do in life, you give it your 100%. Yes, all or nothing. Parang yung sa lyrics ng XOXO. Diba? Okay. Every day is a shot at greatness. Yan. Bakit hindi mo tinuloy? You're baka supposed to be my partner. Baka, baka, baka mapakanta lang ako eh. Kakanta ko na kakanta diretso. But of course, it's just the first day of competition. Tomorrow is a brand new day. A whole set of games to be played. At samahan niyo po kami hanggang Friday for the elimination rounds and for the final four and the championship on Saturday. That was a beautiful sight right there, everybody. Kitang-kita si Sir Pen mm -hmm. with the green. And speaking of green, the Benil Blady Blaze... The, excuse me, the Benil Lady Blazers <laughs> taking the sand right now. It's been a long day, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of course, Kat Santos. Uh, kind of weird to see Kat Santos in blue, San Sebastian, yeah. in action right now. So we're inviting everybody to come down here to the Sand Court, Subic Bay Freeport Zone para manood ng exciting NCAA Beach Volleyball action. We'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the action right now. Because, gaya na sinabi ko kanina, we're going to have 12 matches. This is the 10th match. At bukas, magpapatuloy ang ating coverage. This is our slate for our live stream games. We've got Arellano, San Sebastian, starting things off. San Beda versus JRU. And then LPU versus Perpetual. Letran versus Arellano. So yan po ang ating mga laro tomorrow, Wednesday, in the morning. So that's going to start at 9 a.m. Do follow our social media pages, GMA Sports, PH, NCAA, NCAA Philippines. And GMA Synergy yep. for updates. Of course, the scores, box scores. And, just, and, then, and the NCAA app. And just yung mga news tidbits and all of those fun stuff. Wow, you're updated yep. with yep. the app, ah? Huh? Yep. Yeah, I mean, my memory on my phone. I mean, I, mean, I need to free. You need free. to get a, a, a new phone or another phone. <laughs> okay, and this is our slate of matches in the afternoon. JRU Letran, LPU versus San Beda, Perpetual versus Arellano, and then Mapua versus Benilde. Among these matches, Coach Hammer, 
Is there any in particular that you want to mark and invite all of the fans to check out? Well, of course, if you'd ask me, it's San Beda versus LPU, <laughs> Perpetual against Arellano. Those teams, yung bulk, yung gitna ng schedule na yan, we want to see the contenders. Of course, Perpetual is number one. San Beda is the reigning and defending champions. And Mapua, very impressive. Very, very impressive with their win a while back, coming from behind against the JRU Lady Bombers. Right now, and I think among all of the performers na napanood natin so far, I don't know who I'm more impressed with, Kat Almazan or Trisha Paras. Dapol. Oh, Mary adding Rose a name Dapol. to the mix, Mary Dapol. Rose Dapol. Oh, okay, Dapol. din yung tandem nila, mm -hmm. the Daps and Ja tandem. Mm -hmm. Yung yun. ganda rin ng chemistry. Eh. I think parehas na spikers, parehas na magandang skill set, so nagtatranslate din. Kasi if you would build a team, you want complementary skill sets mm -hmm. pagka naglalaro. Now we see the Benilde Lady Blazers and Kat Santos in blue. Kat, of course, scored 171 points in best score, indoor volleyball. Best score, yeah, right? Top score, Last rookie season. of the year. And uh, it's a different dimension for her playing in mm -hmm. the sand. And it, it doesn't translate that you're very good on the indoor, that you would be uh, very good on the sand game. And they were the first to play actually this morning, San Sebastian versus LPU. Nanalo yung San Sebastian. First match palang ng ating tournament, Coach Hammer. Dumistan siya na. It went to three sets. Gusto ko tanungin ko nag online class pa sila in between the matches. Kasi they started at 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. And then their next game is at time check, 5.27 p.m. Grabe. Mm -hmm. Grabe. Hindi, yun nga. That's, that's the question again for our student athletes. Kasi finals week ngayon papasok sa marami natin mga skwela. Mm -hmm. And it's the thick of the action. How do you manage your schedule? How do you focus on the things that need to be delivered on school and to be performed here? on competition. Now, over on the other side, the Benilde Lady Blazers 1-1 one and one in the team standings right now. Benilde bounced back, huh? Because uh, they lost against Perpetual. You mentioned Dapol. Mm. Grabe yung kanyang pinapakita. But then, they won against LPU in straight sets. So, that just goes to show that there will be some teams who will have to grind it out to make it to the oh, semifinals. All teams. all teams will need to grind it out. So I, I think that is uh, the word for the week. Uh, as we close our coverage for today, it's mm -hmm. going to be a grind, not just for us, but a grind for all uh -huh. of the players na nagnanais na makapagbigay ng karangalan sa kani-kanilang mga minamahal na eskwelahan dito sa National Collegiate Athletic Association. And definitely, that's done for us on a Tuesday. Uh, on, a Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday. Pasok na pasok yan. Dahil napakaganda ng competition sa atin, antabayan na niyo kami bukas in the afternoon for our afternoon sleep. And I am curious to see what song Coach Hammer will relate Wednesday to tomorrow. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it, definitely. And on that note, mga kapuso, magpapaalam na po kami ni Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. Ako po si Anton Ross. Nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pagtutok sa aming napakagandang coverage dito sa Sandcourt, sa Subic Bay Freeport Zone. This is just day number one. We'll see you all again tomorrow for day number two of the NCAA Season 98 Beach Volleyball Tournament. Maraming salamat, mga kapuso, and Happy New Year.